Welcome to the OSRS Podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related content with RuneScape-related content creators. I'm in Cow, followed by... What's going on, boys? Regs, as always. And it's me, Vice Cup. Sorry, no webcam today. <laughs> is, there, is there a reason why there's not webcam today, Ray? Yeah, so uh, no lights on, because I have, I have this eye infection where the lights will uh, hurt my eyes. So yeah, no webcam, no lights for now. Fair enough. We'll be back and soon. Today yeah. we're blessed with the presence of the one and only Mr. Alfie. How are you doing, dude? Nice to see you, man. <laughs> I think you read it. it. He's viewing, bro. Crap. <laughs> 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 Like, okay, continue. <laughs> nah, let's, let's go with it. Yeah, how are you sorry, 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 I, I pushed Tuck on because I was playing other games with friends on Discord. But, um, so, yeah. hi, it's great to be here. Hi, I'm Alfie. I'm sure you guys have seen me. The, the Probably most known on YouTube around for the Iron Dragon death. And Torbeth sometimes <laughs> has, like, little clips and stuff like that. But, hi, I usually stream on Twitch. And I'm here to hang out with the homies and talk crap about RuneScape. And, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Good that stuff, nice. bro. It's a pleasure stuff. to have you, man. Um, right, so my first question for you, Alfie. When did you first start playing RuneScape? So, yeah, we're going to do a Q&A. So I first started playing RuneScape in 2005 or 2006 because I found it on Miniclip, and it was like right oh, next shit. to Puzzle Pirates, and it was <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. And uh, I downloaded it from there, and then I was like in the wilderness, and I found uh, I, I saw like, a cash stack in the wilderness, and then I went to pick it up, and it was one mil. And like I didn't know what to do with one mill ever since then. I was oh, like, yeah, dude, that's wait, sick. you oh didn't get lord. You found a mill. Yeah, dang, you didn't get lord. That that'd be it, like a lord. It, it was just it was just like freaking random, dude. And then I just literally went on a freaking like a buying spree for like hours. I'm just like, how many freaking potions can I buy? This like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy freaking a dragon scimitar and like, I don't know, it's pretty. Damn, oh, so, man, that's amazing. that's lucky. What a so, lucky beginning! Holy hell, RNG given the beginning, you know. So you lucky got man. membership at the start, like at the very beginning uh yeah uh i i don't know if it was in free player membership it was a long time ago it was like freaking 15 years ago now but i think i had membership for most of it because it was cheaper than wow so like it, it was like <laughs> okay. wow back in the day yeah. you know wow was 15 rune team was five so it was like, yeah i could never play wow i i just True. i was not able to afford that income man 15 a month as a kid that oh is a lot of money man it's yeah. crazy have they, have they raised their membership prices now or is it the same I think it's the same. Still 15, yeah. And, and RuneScape's, you know, catching up. Yeah. RuneScape. <laughs> inflation. <laughs> UK inflation right there. Yeah, for a while, it's actually cheaper, relatively. You know? It, well, like, compared to, like, their 15 back then, right? 15 years ago. Right? Yeah. No, I, oh, I get you. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not saying. compared to RuneScape. Compared to its base price back then. You know, the like, failing US dollar is what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah. In a way, yeah. Yeah, the inflation. Man, I could never I could never play World of Warcraft because my computer just it was a potato. Like it could b barely borderline run RuneScape, you know. You'd probably have to reload the get you yeah. know when you had to use you has to you used to play it in the browser and you used yeah. to refresh. I had to refresh it like five or six times for it to actually load. And then half <laughs> the time it would like glitch out when I tried to log in. Like my computer was bad. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, I, I can relate in terms of like RuneScape being the budget version because my uncle used to play World of Warcraft and he's the one that helped me pay for membership in RuneScape but he's always like why you play this bad graphics game why don't you play World of Warcraft but he's but I was like you gonna pay for me he's like no and then and then I was like that was it you know because it was too expensive <laughs> his life but, changed ever uh, since man no but like I was already addicted so it was whatever yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's actually why I started streaming RuneScape so so my computer was literally horrible and I played uh the game before League of Legends Heroes of New Earth back in the day and, and so that's what i put with all my friends and i'm like and, and then i saw this guy like this popular guy streaming and i'm like oh i could stream you know and then uh my computer couldn't run it and i'm like what's a garbage game that my computer could possibly <laughs> run and stream? i'm like oh RuneScape! and yeah ever yeah. since that's a beautiful man Damn. I, I had 0 0.8 upload and five oh hours. that's rough that's rough yeah. that's very strategic so like you initially just wanted to stream and then RuneScape kind of became the option, you know? Yeah, like, it, it, uh, it was the option. It turns out it's a freaking great, like, just chatting game. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yeah, what a revolution. Oh, okay. Well, so when did you, like, know about Twitch? When did you learn about it? And kind of, like, get so this got... This is, like, 2010. This is, like, right as, like, Justin TV was making the transfer over to Twitch. Oh, crap. This is, like, back in the day where, like, you could get away with anything streaming. And they're like Amazon didn't own it yet. Like there was no such thing as like Twitch Prime and stuff like that. 
Yeah, you're like OG. You're like yeah, OG. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it is. Alive, you have like 800 viewers, and 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 like everyone else <clears> had like 100 or less. It, it, it was it was after like it was when it was when uh, Gravite 2 HP King was a thing in the wilderness. Long time ago. Oh yeah. damn, that's like pre OC. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. You, you know what's funny? Alfie was the first streamer ever that I donated <laughs> money to. Like the first Whoa. for a very long time, Ooh. and it was when he it was the uh, the hundred hour stream that you did. Oh, I that was crazy, I, by the way. I tuned yeah, in, and I remember just looking That's at you, crazy. and I was like, I feel so bad for this guy. And I, I I donated with like a nice message. I can't remember what it was, and like it took you a few seconds to even like you know acknowledge that there was a donation because you were so <laughs> like how was that man you must have been like hallucinating that shit like that's dangerous like, 100 did you hours like, nuts. yeah so, did you like so, so it was 75 and this was I, I was just like trying to do whatever i could to like so i had a comp i have like a little like competition with mr no sleep yeah i so, remember yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. what happened was he did like 60 which was insane. And, I, and then I was like, I'm going to do a competition because it'll be like great for view count because people love to see someone kill themselves for content, you know? <laughs> oh, was this a, was this like Pretty a much. friendly competition? Like, did you yeah, talk yeah, about it? Friendly. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. This, this is really cool, yeah. And, and so, like, I was just, like, uh, doing it because it was, like, a thing where, like, oh, you know, I could be his time, no problem. Like, I can freaking stay awake a ton of hours. And then so I did 61, and then he did 70, 72 or something, 74 maybe, and then I did 75. And then, so that was my longest live stream. And then he did a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he did a hundred, no problem. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, dude. how? Like, I mean, I guess his name is Mr. No Sleep. Which but like, can you, can you, oh, what's it? <laughs> <laughs> like, could you imagine though, like, how much of your life you think you you shaved off from staying up that, <laughs> that late, you know? Like, have you ever thought about that? Like, what, what would the... No. <laughs> do you think that would actually cause like long-term health problems? Oh, dude, I don't know, man. I just feel I like don't think so. I, I, bro, it, 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 it the next week, but like, dude, I feel like if I just stay up for twenty-four hours, like in a stream, right? It's I already feel like I lost like several days. It's of my not life. that bad. Just, 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 just do more hours. I don't yeah, think yeah, I could physically do it, man. I, I've done one. You've not done a twenty-four hour AC. Yeah. I, I've done a twenty-four hour one. And, okay. Uh, I've done like it, four. You, and it's you, always you go through like waves of being tired and then yeah. just being absolutely fine. Yeah. So much fun. <laughs> like I remember, I remember. I think it was like twenty-two hours. I was like, um, I remember looking. I was looking at the time. I was like, oh, I got two more hours to go. I was like playing Among Us. I was like, oh, I got two yeah. more hours of this shit. And then like an hour <laughs> later, I was like, I was pumped. I was like, wait, hold up. I'm gonna, I'm like, I'm gonna stay up after this live stream, and I chilled out. But like, dude. I remember when I did my 24 hour, I was like, I, I was literally did some research because I got like, I'll give you some context. I got a bad knee, but a knee operation. And mm. um, I, I wanted to see like what the deal was with health. Like, did I have to stand up, walk around and stuff? And I, I found there was a guy that was like a 30 year old man. That's like three years older than me. We did a 24 hour live stream. He died from a blood clot. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You I was like, careful. I need to take this seriously, man. Yeah, you so when you did your 75 man. hour, like, did you go into it thinking that stuff, or were you just like, you so no, so like, the, the dude's a moron. Well, he was a moron. Um, he like he like didn't move around at all. Like you have to like like yeah, like, yeah. get up and stretch mm -hmm. and like you'd like freaking take care of yourself, you know? Like you can't just like do a 24 hour and just like sit there the whole time, and, like and, and then another guy died because he like had like bad like health conditions like prior and he like wasn't taking care of himself during the stream, but yeah. So like the blood clot thing is when you just don't move at all. Yeah. So. You, because like even if you move in your seat, you're still you're not gonna get a blood clot because you can you're move. doing like a competition, so you can do like a you can do a lot of hours of gaming healthy, and you can do a lot of hours of gaming like extremely unhealthy. You know, it, it depends. Like 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 let, let's say you're like doing a 24 hour stream casual, and then you're doing a 24 hour stream DMM. Like those are gonna be two completely different like yeah. yeah. <laughs> the 24 hour stream normal, you're gonna like you know get up, go to the bathroom, like take breaks, maybe like like. Whatever. Yeah, also, here's the thing, right? If you're, like, the type of person like me who likes to move around a lot, I don't think you have to worry too much about blood clots because you just can't stand still yeah. or sit still anyways. But I think yeah, I'd imagine doing careful. a 24-hour stream with, like, a standing desk. I, I think that would be, like, a really good idea. Yeah, but, um, I agree. Alfie, do you, do you think you would ever do, like, a long stream again, or are you just done with it now? I'm freaking old, dude. I'm going to be freaking 29. <laughs> I'm going to be 29 in five days. So, oh, now nah, you still young. Well, happy birthday, man! Oh, thank you. Early birthday, awesome, man. 
cool. I don't think you can do long streams on Twitch anymore either. Yeah, I you think, can. Can you? Yeah, can they, you go over 48 no hours? They normalize it again? Uh, I mean, you can. Like, I mean, it, it, they, they I, never pay anyone for doing a long stream. I just always heard that after 48, they'll uh, they'll try to stop you or something. That's one of the biggest streamers it. was doing, like, multiple day streams, right? Okay. So, 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 like, so what people are doing, the multiple day stream that you've heard about, is the one where, like, they'll stream for a while and then they'll sleep on stream so that, you know, it's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's got I mean, that's, that's right. cheating, bro. When I first yeah. saw that, I was like, nah, they're not doing it properly. Cause I, I you saw gotta kill yourself like, yeah. <laughs> or I not. An article, you know? It was like, this guy, he's, right. I think it's Ludwig or Ludwig. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, Ludwig. Ludwig. And it's like, he's been streaming for so many days in a row. And I was like, oh my God, I got to tune in. This guy's going to be a zombie. And he was sleeping. I was like, he's fucking cheating, dude. I was like, that doesn't, dude, that doesn't count, man. That she, doesn't it just count. sounds like a smart workaround to me. If hey, people are gonna watch it's you cheers, sleep, bro. Like, nah, dude, yeah, I, you gotta sleep no in a hot tub. The OGs breaking yeah, all the money. They hold it, man. They hold it down, bro. Like, I, I remember watching the seventy-five hour stream. Was it the? Was it at the end? You were like trying to cut trees, and like when, when you had yeah. a, your friend, yeah, so like. Telling you to wake up, right? Uh, yes, my, my best friend was there, and those last three hours were the most painful things that, in my existence. I, I mean, doing a twenty-four hour stream would be easy, probably, if it wasn't RuneScape. But like, yeah, do you remember yeah. like the last three hours, like <laughs> at all? Like, do you remember like the details of it? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I just remember like, so like, so during the stream, LMS was like big. So during the day, I would go play LMS, and then like when LMS would die and there wouldn't be enough players, I would like go and like sit at the arena. Or like I forget what else I did, maybe like some PKing or something, and that was back like back way before the Iron Man days. Yeah. And like, so the last three hours, I just remember like nodding off, and like I was just sleeping in the chair, like having like a bunch of micro sleeps where I couldn't even like exist anymore. But like, <laughs> it's, so, it's so weird that Mister No Sleep did like the hundred hour like just fine, like he did it just like on coffee, and like at the end of the twenty hundred hour stream, it was fine. And I was just like freaking dead. I don't know. Yeah, He's a crazy. monster. I don't know how he yeah. does that. Cause but you, you know what, you, dude, what's interesting about that is I remember after he did his 100 hour, he, I remember I tuned into his stream, this was years ago, he was attempting to do like a, I think it was a 50 hour stream or something like that, and he didn't make it to 24 hours. Like, I think he threw the towel in after like 10-ish hours where he was just like, I'm sorry guys, I'm just not feeling it today. So, like, do you have to like mentally prepare yourself to go into something like that? Or what do you think it takes... Because, like, he can obviously stay up for an insane amount of time, but, like, that day for him just wasn't his day. And then I think he retried it a few days later and he did it no problem. Uh, I, I do think it's, like, mental, like, uh, it, I mean, preparing food is, like, definitely good. And, like, preparing, like, things to do, like, on stream. Like, if you're bored, like, it's not going to, you know, that, that that's going to hinder it. And and really, it's it's mostly about willpower. It's mostly about, like, you know, saying, okay, you know, I'm going to do this and, like, this is something I have to do and, like, a consequence for failing is usually yeah good, you know i relate it to like kind of like sports you know like some days you just perform really well and other days you just don't know yeah. why you just can't because i remember doing like a few 24s and like there were definitely some 24s that felt way better than some where i yeah. i really just want to go agree. to bed <laughs> I agree. like i really want to sleep but Man, how many 24s have you done uh, I used to do a 24 every time i got a thousand followers on twitch but i stopped <laughs> after <you>. 30 <laughs> So I think I've done a little over 30 24s. Wow. Um, yeah, Jesus dude, God. I've only done like four, and I and I don't want to do another one. Yeah. I don't do them anymore. I, yeah. But when I did, I took them serious, you know? Like, they are hard to keep the content flowing, especially like Alfie says, if it's old school, which I love. But, I mean, you got to really, especially in the wilderness is dead, find those peak hours where there is some sort of activity, and then the next four hours it's dead. You gotta make something happen, or you're falling asleep, man. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. man, if you're if you're becoming a content creator through PvP and for PvP, I feel sorry for you. Yeah, I, 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 I don't I know cool. why you torture yourself like that. I we could have been it. Robloxers or something, dude. Something easier. <laughs> Do some Minecraft, man. You know, oh, some I mean, Minecraft. Back in like the pre EOC days, I used I swear I used to do like a. I used to stay awake for the entire weekend, like Friday, Saturday. I'd get home from school Friday, and I don't think I'd sleep till Sunday. But it was back in the day when it was like, it was really difficult Damn. to make money. Me and my friends were absolute staking addicts. And we would literally like PK all weekend. We'd get cleaned. We'd go stake our banks and stuff. We'd rebuild at Tormented Demons, praying for Dragon Claw Drops. And like, we'd kill Frost Dragons all night. You know what I mean? Like, we'd do all of that stuff 
But like now, I'm just too old now. I stay awake for like twelve hours. I'm like, man, I'm tired. I need to go to bed. I I don't think I I don't I don't think I could do it anymore. I've already done one twenty four hour. I don't think I'd ever go over that. <laughs> it was year one. Yo, bro. you've peaked, bro. You've peaked. <laughs> I've peaked, dude. I can't unless I can cheat and I can do a, a, a sleeping stream. Maybe then I could do like a. I can see you pulling stream. one off. I, I can see you pulling off a sleeping stream, right? Or about, a hot tub stream. I don't yeah, know. yeah. What about like if like the RNG is good? So, so, so let's say like you start the twenty four hour stream, and you like get a T bow. Uh, the the one that makes stuff interesting. Because then you can just like, you can just buy Mind gear hype. that you've never had and just have a blast, right? Yeah, like that shit would that would be fun for sure. Um, maybe, yeah. I, I think when stuff like that happens, it, like it, for me, it's like as soon as I get my hands on like a new toy, like I've never used like the harmonized nightmare staff. I've never had full inquisitor and actually used it. So like, oh, if so I if good. I'm <laughs> if I get those yeah. items, I'm gonna be like, "Oh my god, this is fun! This is like a new toy to play with." Wow, man, uh, having full Inquisitor. Um, all right, so good. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Racy. I'm poor as well, man. Uh, you, you might be richer than me. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not poor. I just, I just don't sell wow. items once I get them. All right, I guess I mean, I'm my, below my, my, the silk my main dollar. account, which my main account, which is my series account. I think I have like almost two point six oh, bill. Yeah. Is, is, is that, is that like your like best account now? Is that better than Racy? Oh hell yeah! I dude, I I gave all of my GP away on Rigsy. I messed up so bad. I was so so this one time I did this giveaway. It was a really good giveaway because it wasn't just like subscribe, like the video, and you'll have a chance and leave a comment down below. I wasn't just algorithm chasing. I literally said I was like, I'm not gonna show what the bank value is of the loot tab. I was like, the person who guesses the closest number to the actual the proper price of the loot tab will win its exact value. And it was, Jeez. it was a lot of money. Like, I think it was like 150 mil or something like oh, that. You're goofed. And no, I went on to, dude, I went onto this website where it's like, it scans the comments and I put in the exact number to see if there was anyone that got it and so forth. And, um, it gave me a winner and I was like, okay, well this dude's the winner. So I was like, okay, let's go for it. Um, I upload the next video, give the guy the cash and then literally over the next few days, some guy messaged me on Instagram and he was like, hey, dude, he was like, uh, I actually commented on that video and my guess was closer than the guy that won. And I was like, oh, my God, no. And I like verified it. I checked when the comment was added and what his number was and all that stuff and when it was posted. And I was like, fuck. So I had to pay out twice. <laughs> <I remember. laughs> that was brutal. Yeah. But yeah, I, 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 I drama. I don't even play my main account anymore. Like I, I literally don't play. I just have two mains now, but my series mains, I would say debatably better. I mean, Rexy has a few total levels on it, but like, you know, the time, the time and experience I've had on fat checks has been I, just way better. You know, there's something about it because mm -hmm. I've never bought membership on the account. I've never staked, never taken donations. So it's like every, like it feels pure. It's a pure account, you know? It's not It's not being tinted by dirty money. You know what I mean? It's a pure I account. That. I feel that. Yeah, man. Not having anything traded to you so you can lose all your own money is the best. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I bought, dude, I bought a scythe uh, maybe like a month, no, probably two months ago now. Bought a scythe when it was the top end of 800 mil. I think it was 800 mil. And uh, mm -hmm. it's now like 550 mil. So I lost like 200 mil on that one item, which is just like, God. Bro, I bought well, the know. volatile staff <laughs> when it was two bill. And then I got mazed for it when it was 200 mil. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all right, cool. Alfie, I haven't asked you a question, by the way, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go for it. I have a question after you. Oh, yeah. Go, all right. <laughs> uh, so you are notorious for falling victim to many weird deaths in runescape man what do you what do you think your most frustrating one is like this makes you scream at night or well, maybe top three if it's too hard to all right yeah top three would be good yeah so uh, okay so uh oh uh oh, muted, oh wait wait hold on oh, you're uh, so, yeah. so for those guys who don't know i'm on my 11th hardcore currently and <laughs> several digits <laughs> i've created a lot and so, uh, so my deaths, I remember all of them. So my first death was to a skeleton. My second <laughs> one was to an iron dragon. That's a, probably yeah, one of the yeah, ones you guys know. Uh, my famous. third one was to a disconnection at cave horrors. 
That was like oh, rather that's early. so sad. Fourth yeah. one was two guard pretty early. Fifth one was two blue dragon also pretty early. You need to write a book. Died to uh, the sixth one died to Cerberus. That was like ninety one Slayer. The oh. seventh one died to uh, oh. I forgot the information. My uh, so so it, the account like the, I forgot the password, so I just didn't log back in. So I guess. <laughs> And then the uh, eighth one, yeah. that one died to Gauntlet. That one was like two oh. K total. Um, Yo, that was a good uh, one. Man. It had like it had a sanguine SC staff, all that stuff. It was like it was alive for like over a year and a half. The ninth one died yeah. to Peter of Blood. That one was really tough because that one got a twisted bow early, oh, and that one got yeah. like four Knights and five hundred KC. That one got like uh, just it was spoon fed everything, and that was probably my best account. Like the had Inferno K by like day fifty six. It was an insane account it was last mm-hmm. year. And then my tenth one died to a disconnection at Zol, where that one was a seven Slayer. So yeah, did a lot of Slayer. And then yeah, my eleven. <laughs> yeah. So the mm-hmm. most frustrating death was probably the Iron Dragon one, the notable one, just because mm-hmm. like it had like a bunch of high scores because that one was like on release of hardcore. So like, yeah, it's like, like oh gee. When it died, it was like rank two prayer, rank nine attack, rank five Slayer. Like it had like you know those like high score oh. like yeah. <clears throat> so when these painful, accounts. Man. When these accounts die, are you taking, like, you know, you move on to the next one, you got so many accounts, you're pretty much just scrapping it. Do you just take the GP from it and whack it on a main, or what I do mean, you do there? Yeah, I usually just liquidate and stake the day I die. I mean, I don't know. I'm just like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's savage, man. Oh, my God. I guess Holy you're... crap. I, um, oh, sorry. I was, I was going to say, uh, I've, never, I've never played Iron Man. Never. Like I'm just I'm just not used to Iron Man, but I used to play old school RuneScape in like the Iron Man way because I've played for so long. There was a long period of time where there wasn't like Grand Exchange and stuff. So if you ever wanted to do something, you just Googled how to make it. Do you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like you went on Rune HQ or something like that. You figured out how to make it. Like I don't know a blue sapphire lantern or something like that. You just had to figure it out because nobody's selling one. Um, but I have, dude. I actually have. I'll show you right now. I have a hardcore right now. The Ooh. username is you will dude, if you look at the stats on this account, you'll probably be like, oh what my days. Uh wait, hold up. How that's how you spell potato, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh tasty man. potato. There it is. Oh, that's right. I, know that. I know that again. Yeah, I know that account. If you look up, dude, I got like 99 fishing and fire making, and it's got barrel gloves, it's got wow. torso, it's got it's got that everything. A nice hardcore man. It's got like a good foundation, but I just don't know how to play Iron Man. I'm just kind of like, what do I do? Like, I, I just need to get myself a Fury. I'm just like, I need a Glory or Fury, and then I can probably do some PVM. So, because I got I, I mean, right, right now, your Slayer level is like, I would just do Slayer task, just a bunch of different a, a Slayer tasks and farm runs, because you're looking for uh, you're looking for range pots. So your level is 57 or 53. You want to get to 67 to be able to do a plus five boost to make range pots, which is pretty big PVM. And then you want to train your Slayer to 69, and then do Dragons, or Monkey Man is two, which is big, because Demonic Grill is a really big cash. And uh, you want to start working on Piety. Piety is pretty big. Uh, 70 prayer, or 60 prayer is also really good. And then your crafting is going to come from, um, you need to get 61 crafting by buying uh, Bucket Sand and Soda Ash at Charter Ships. And then once you're 61 and you do Lunar Diplomacy, your magic level is almost high enough. You need 74 magic to plus three boost to uh, super glass make and then you can train your crafting all the way up to whatever level you want just do uh farmer yeah. do, do you do giant seaweed that's what i'm doing at the moment i'm literally yeah, yeah. Doing, i'm doing birdhouse run seaweed and th- mm-hmm. that's pretty much it and I'm, i've just got into doing farming contracts as well so Huge. it's just i dude there's something about it which is nice because like you go and pickpocket like a master farmer and you get like a runner seed and you're like this is such an insignificant thing but on that you account it's not. I'm, I'm like damn I'm like, I just got a limpet root seed. That's sick. I didn't have any of these. Like, I can make some strength pots, pog. But like, uh, I don't know. It, like, it's just like resource gathering. There's something about that. I feel like I'm just, like, I'm going to spend like a hundred hours doing farm runs before I can go and kill Zora or something like that. Whereas I'm just logging on like fat checks and I can just go like destroy it right now. You know, I don't know. I'm trying to get into the Iron Man mindset. I've just never had it. Yeah, I, I mean, now is the time to do it because PvP isn't getting too much love, which freaking sucks. And, and, and like, <laughs> you, you like, you like Torvesta and Frame just like seriously they verse each other, and then like Torvest is like fully into it now, and those videos are pretty sick. And like, um, mm. people are just like getting into the because it, it, it's the risk. So like on like a regular Iron Man, when you 
when you like do like some kind of like content, it's just like, oh, okay, like this isn't that interesting because there's not there's no like consequence if you do bad. But on a hardcore, if you die to a boss, you lose thousands of hours of like time, and like the symbol mm. like acts a lot. So it's like really enter- it, it's like easy like to create content based around it, which is uh huh. But yeah, Iron Man's fun. Like, like just Iron Man mode in general is pretty fun because like it, it's like, yeah. you can't just like you like think for yourself. I didn't know anything about RuneScape before I started playing Iron Man, but like Iron Man teaches you everything. Before I started playing Iron Man, all I knew was like how much a DH set cost from the GE and like how much I'd get if I won someone else's. So like, mm. yeah. <laughs> fair enough. So was it mainly PvP that you started doing when you first started playing? Yeah, PvP and staking, and and then you know I was doing like giveaways and like blah blah. blah. So so when I first started playing RuneScape, I was selling gold. I was doing um, I was doing <clears throat> flowering. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. So so like I was streaming on Twitch, and then at the very beginning, and then a clan like invited me to like you know uh, host, and I was like, oh you know this seems like a free way, a good way to get some money. You know I'll do this, and like people will come bed, and like it'll be fun. And then I realized I was the only one getting bets and they weren't. And I was just like, okay, I'll just make my own clan. And then I had like a bunch of GP and then people were, people were PM me on Twitch saying like how much for 50 mil gold or whatever. Uh, but by the way, this huh. year, um, I selling gold is against the rules and you know, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, so, so don't do it cause it's bad. Anyway. It so doesn't like, do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. So, so, uh, so that's how I started. And then like, and mm. then they didn't allow, didn't allow it on Twitch anymore. So I started streaming somewhere else for a bit. And then like, so when I came back in like 2013, 2014, after everything was said and done, after commission staking was over, and that was a whole completely different era where like people would go to the arena, they didn't have max stats, they'd give you cash to stake for them, and then like you get like to keep a percentage, which was really horrible because selling gold is wrong. Anyway, after that, <laughs> um, anyway, so after that, yeah, I just started like PKing because it's all I knew, and then when yeah. Mark Ryman came out, then I was just like, oh my gosh, thank the Lord, like. PKing's dead. Oh, I guess do something else. And then I just got hooked. And yeah, then, you kind of yeah, you kind of converted, you know, after that. Yeah, it's freaking like a new pure man, you know. And then DM, right. and then DMMs oh. are really good. DMMs are freaking sick because like you know it really goes with the whole like. I'm surprised Mister No Sleep never really got into the whole DMM thing because like it's so good if you like don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. for DMM, yeah. for DMM, what I would do is I would like set alarms. So I would like I would say I would do 24, like 20, and then four. So like I would stay awake for twenty hours and I'd like have an yeah. alarm for every four hours. <clears throat> you do that for like three days, like you get so far ahead. It's so like it's such good content yeah. you had in DMM. Holy dude, I re- I remember the demo mode mansions. I was so oh my god, that was, was so much fun, dude. I was so impressed with like, dude, like that was the most motivating thing in terms of like, like I would literally go to bed. Alfie would still be awake, and then <laughs> I would wake up and he'd still be awake, and I'd be like, wait, have you not slept? He's like, no, I've slept. I was like, wait, so you, I've been sleeping longer. You look at his stats, and it's just like, oh my fucking god! Like, I remember comparing my stats to Sick Nerd stats. Like, I think on the first day he had like 10 million XP more than I did. I was like, oh my god, these guys are going hard. Um, yeah, Dead Man Mode was fun. I like Dead Man Mode. Do you reckon they're gonna bring it back? So, I think, so they are. I think it's gonna be like. To June or July, oh, I'm so ready to because Chambers of Zerk is unlocked. They're gonna have forex drop rates for items and like, oh, it's so good, dude! Holy, Wait, I can freaking, what's up? Is it a, is it a tournament or is it just like the regular? What I'm hoping that they do is I'm hoping that they do a season, uh, a seasonal, and then they they have yeah. people qualify from there. So, so so I'm hoping that they have like a seasonal. What they what they should do. And and uh, I hope that someone with more influence than me can like you know actually like get them to do this. They should do like a one month seasonal or like a two maybe like a two maybe uh, one month is kind of boring. Maybe like a three week seasonal. Although they like they like to do two weeks or a month. They don't really like to do three weeks. Even though even though I think three weeks. Would be no, I think three weeks better. Three yeah, weeks would be good. Yeah. yeah. So so like, so like a three week seasonal, and then they have like the top two K people qualify for, or the top four K because two K is kind of lame because like. Not a whole lot of people log in. And then you can have like two worlds for, you can have like more than one tournament world again. So you can have like the top like four or 5K qualify. So it's really easy to qualify. But like, you know, you have to actually qualify for the tournament. Yeah. And then, and then the tournament needs to have a high prize pool. I will freaking actually like give money so that it has a high prize pool. Wouldn't that be nice? A community prize pool 
would be so good on PvP tournaments. Like Jagic should be giving away the money, man. It's like, you know, they're yeah, like, oh, you're yeah. right. You're right. They're ripping us yeah, off, man. Because the last but time it was like charity, it's just like, I don't know, like, 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 so people, so, so it was the same problem with Methods first tournament, although they, end, they ended up being really good with the second tournament, so, so redeemed. But like, it, it, it's like people don't want to play 20 hours a day if it's not, it's not going to be worth their while. Well, I, like, yeah. sure, sure the tryhards <laughs> will because they have nothing better to do, but like, you want to make it actually worth someone's like time. You'd like, at the time I don't think it's there. ever been worth someone's time for the amount of effort you put in the demo. Yeah, minus like the veteran players, you know, or like, the not... prize pool, not the experience or the content, but just like the prize yeah. in general doesn't seem like it would ever yeah. be worth. That I, I much think time. it's just it's the fun aspect to it, yeah. right? Like that is kind of the prize. If you go if you go into demo <laughs> mode tournament expecting to be the prize winner. You're probably a yeah, little fucking boss, crazy. Yeah. Like, let's, unless you're like, unless you're like, <laughs> oh, you have like a massive game plan of like a year, like, like you know what I mean? Unless you have a big well, I mean, ass plan. I'm in Blazers, so like, you know, I, I used to go in. Bro, and oh my god, Planning, mate. you have the to. Last, dude, the last Dead Mummo tournament, I was in Blazers. Do you know what happened? I was <laughs> fuming, bro. I, I, I literally messaged, uh, we sorted it out. Uh, god, what's the leader of Blazers called? Lannister. What's his. Wiggled, yeah. I messaged him. I was so pissed off, man. I messaged him because what happened was he said, yo, boys, if you want to be in the final, you got to tell us what your RuneScape name is, post it in the team speak or whatever. I was like, sure thing. So I sent my RuneScape name. The final comes. They've not added me to the CC. So I've <laughs> spent an entire week sending my ass off and I can't get into the CC for an alliance. <laughs> literally oh, no. so i was just there like yeah. spam messaging him and like obviously he's in the middle of a war and i'm like bro like move me into the ts like Yo, i can't i can't so, get in the cc and so nothing. this brings up a good point though nothing. like i i think this brings up a good point right so like i i like your ideas alfie i think it's you you're hitting like some of the really critical points in terms of like making it easier for people to get into the finals because i actually tried them in mode uh that last time it was out right and like i had to you know be a part of the uh, clan and stuff and i almost made it to final so like it, it does work with like but like I, I, what do you think about that like the fact that you kind of have to be in a clan you have to join a clan and join their like you know, organized you know system in order to actually make it to the finals right that's like, not how a tournament should be run. yeah yeah I, like in my Pretty opinion much. i don't think i mean i don't like nothing against the clans but i just feel like you know shouldn't it be more focused on the the those 1v1s right not well, not necessarily yeah. if you get lucky or if you're in a clan you make it in right most clans 100%. have a really positive impact uh, impact on mmos right like they gear people and they share their banks and they train them and friendly aspects but yeah for some reason like they get all the power in the tournament for dead MMO mode and those pk clans they're chill and they like to pk but it's not like they're promoting you know, like uh, like MMO clans or anything. They're not like front leaders, but they but do I mean, have the most majority. The reason, f the reason for that, though, is because of the way that they actually have the tournament set up. Yeah, because, yeah like, no, that's exactly that, why. Yeah, dude, yeah that multi If they took the multi phase out, I'd be so for that. It's it's like yeah, I literally so, died because I yeah, can't Alfie, what do you say? Yeah, what do you like, think that was about it. that? You know, what do you think about the whole? So, thing? so the pro the problem is the design. They have to like go into the design and change how it works because like. The multi phase is interesting. You, you, a, as a viewer, it's entertaining to watch, but as a player, it's totally garbage. You, you, you have to like, you have to like bank your best gear. It's yeah. so, so being in a clan, you have to like bank your best gear and take out like rags for the multi phase because you don't want another clan to get like your what you worked to, to get like uh, our clan like a few like uh, really good items from like Chambers of Zarek last one and like so we, so we had like not like take any of our dfs's into the multi-stage because like you don't want to like view another clan and and it really is like a clan man mode like tournament I, i'm yeah. not i i don't really have any like ideas on how to fix it it's just how the, de the design is flawed the, the multi-design is flawed so yeah like, I'm, I'm not sure what but i definitely think they should definitely oh. change it but like at this point i just want them to create another dmm i don't want to like come up with like ways on how they could change it. i just want Something Maybe they like are that. already. Who knows? Maybe no, that's what they're no, brainstorming. I, I, so I understand, Dude, I, I, like, I, yeah. Sorry. Go, go on. Go you on. go ahead. You go ahead, Rudy. Okay. Ahead. Uh, so you like, I do understand kind of like why the whole, um, you know, like the the white bow system and stuff works at the start is because like you're trying to like fundamentally have a really fast way to clear people out of the selection, right? It's just a fast way to like, you know, put people into the bracket, right? 
But what if they just make that like some sort of like a, a secondary thing, you know? Where like there is some benefit to surviving it, but like it doesn't mean like you're automatically cut off. If that makes sense. They do have single plus now. They could implement that somehow as well. Single plus slow it down. Is so boring to watch. I'm not saying. Well, I mean, like if they add gas. And, I mean, I can't yeah, really yeah. fundamentally come up with a plan to make it exciting. I'm just thinking maybe right. single plus could have a function in there. Because like I think Dude, the fundamental. I, yeah, go on. Yeah. I was gonna say I do worry like. The thing is, like, I know, like, Alfie just said, like, I just want Dead Mammo back. I worry that, you know, they could bring it back exactly the way it's been. But, like, if they do that, I think it's such a disservice to the actual game mode. Like, if they bring it back the exact same as what it was and they haven't changed anything and they haven't looked at, like, the reason why it wasn't successful. Like, what, why did it decrease in popularity? Why is it every three months we release it, people would complain and quit after, like, two days? Like, I, they need to do something proper, man. Like, they need to actually do something new. Like, yes. I know it's very it's very easy to look at it through, like, rose-tinted and be like, you know, I just really want to do that because it's the grind and it's, you know, it's a good time. But, like, I, I think at the end of most demo modes, like, the majority of us were always left, like, kind of empty. Like, what's the point? Like, why did I just waste all that time? And the yeah, truth I is... Do. Dude, when you compare <laughs> dead man mode to <laughs> Trailblazers... Why, why was I here? Bro, if you compare, like, DMM to Trailblazers, and it's like, bro, I did this the other day, you gotta do this. Where the 100 kills that you get from LMS, the 100 kill cape, right? And then where the 100 CM cape. And you can see side by side, like, love and neglect, <laughs> right? You can see that there's a clear passion for one thing, and, like, no time for the other thing. And, yeah, hey, like, that's... Toxic. That, it is what it is, man. I, I feel like I would rather they just, like, don't even bring out Dead My Mode until they can actually deliver something that's yeah. worth the player's time. Basically, At this you know point, how, if you know they were to give us... if Sorry, if they gave us... Let me finish a sec. Yeah. If they gave us the same recycled dead content that they've given us in the past, like, it's, like, the biggest insult to anybody that loves PvP. It's, like, it's a joke. Like, why would you want to play that, bro? It's like, you go on a Trailblazers, and you just look at, like, something as small as, like, being able to look at, like, your runes, and being able to look at, like, the challenges, and it's like, it's clear the developers of that love it. Oh. They probably went home, they probably did it all through the night in their own time without getting paid for it. Dead Man Mode, it's kind of like, you know in The Simpsons, at the, uh, the intro, when he's just like, yep, but time to leave, and, like, the nuclear thing just goes in the bar. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, like, it's down there on the floor. Yo, no, it's That's like, the treat DMM. Yo, it's, like, literally doing your homework assignment, like, um, the minute before you have to give it to your teacher. It's like, oh, yo, here, take it. Bro, no, but, you know, like, wait, think about I'm it, gonna, right? I'm going to log in. I'm going to show you. I'm going to get a screenshot of these capes, by the way, so you can see yeah. it and put it up on the screen. It's so, so hilarious. I, I agree with you, but, like, I just don't think that Jagex is going to put in that kind of time. Although I think they should. I, I really do. Because, like, it's so good, like, just for, like, the profit for them. But the, the the developers they have, they don't have a PvP developer. I don't think all their developers are mostly like PvM developers. Yeah so, yeah, so, like, so like guys, like, why don't we kind of look at it, like, with, like, you know, things that, that you can kind of compare number-wise? Like, so, like, okay, one of the big reasons why you have this whole, like, wipeout, you know, like the whole fog stuff is to you know clear clear people fast so you can have time to stream like a certain amount of hours right for the for the one v ones so so I think it's it's a matter of like finding the right balance between how fast you want to eliminate people and how long you want the one v ones to last right in your opinion like what is like the optimal I guess length that you that you would like one v ones right because basically the more one v ones there are right the less bullshit it is for people to make it into the finals right the less a uh, clan dominated it would be right the less the more chance that someone soloing would make it to the finals right because the longer your one v ones right the then the less cutoff you need right for people to like dude make I, it I, in. I, oh sorry go ahead. Right. yeah no you go first alfie you oh, go okay, ahead, so, so the problem is it's a dev issue they need to hire 16 people to organize the next tournament who all PK. And I guarantee you the next tournament will be completely revamped and amazing, which yeah. won't happen. Mm -hmm. And th th that's just the root of the problem. And, and so because that won't happen, we're never going to get a, a DMM tournament that everyone's going to love and enjoy. So with that being said, I don't want them to never bring back DMM. <clears throat> so I mean, that, that, that that's just where I stand. Because I, I don't think that the dream world where like a DMM comes out that's like completely revamped and amazing and like 
allows everyone to have a chance and like, or they try out an Iron Man DMM or whatever. That's never going to happen with the current people they have at Jagex. So like, they need to like hire people who love PK, but <laughs> that doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah, so like, a dream. Yeah, I, I, I agree mean, with you. Dream. Front you dream. Well. That's mm-hmm. that's all they need to do. And like the thing is, it's really difficult to have any sympathy at this point for Jagex when it comes to this stuff because it's not even like that. Like it's not like people are like, "Yo, you need to go out and just employ free people, put them on salary, and have people that are interested in PvP." Like there are literally thousands of people in the community. Uh, probably hundreds that really know what they're talking about are an absolutely passionate and love PvP. And, and they, they will do it for free. They all have a different idea. Yeah. They all have a different <laughs> idea, but like they could literally just have like pick out a few people that love PvP, have come up with some good ideas, and just like listen to what they have to say. I mean, Alfie, I think you were invited to it. Yeah, You're invited I've done to- that a lot. It, it, it's, it's about like actually like getting people to who love PvP to actually get them on the payroll. And to have them like actually make executive decisions without being argued by like six out of the PKers. And then Jagex, like whenever they decide to make a PKing update, they get flamed by the PKing community with people who disagree with them. So like it, it's just like a thing where like they they've tried that a lot. Every time they update though, I think a little flame is necessary, man. I because I was gonna say with Rakesy's thing where he compares the capes, you can kind of compare any PvP update with like any update in general, Iron Man, Bossing, Slayer, and it's it's a general black and white scenario so dude look constantly. at the difference of those capes I that it. i just put into the chat by the way i see it that's right uh, let me open it, it's terrible man like one's a hundred kills at lms the other one's a hundred cms like pretty much the same thing but like if you turn the camera to the front as well the 100 cm cape has like it, it's like transparent it's got like a badass it, it, it's got like ribbons that come down the front genuinely looks sick Whereas the uh, the last one standing cape is like it's made of a piece of string. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's awful, and that's it's amazing. Not good. That looks like a tattoo from Grand Theft Auto, and that's Casper. It's it's trash. Uh-huh. You, you, should, you should make a red throw. You probably get a bunch of upvotes, actually. <laughs> should I just be a spade. I was, I was, I was, I was, oh my gosh, dude! I'll, I'll vote it. Actually, wait, I don't, I don't, I don't even have a Reddit account, and also I don't care for Reddit. So you can take it though if you want to, mate. Feel free. No, I'm good. I, I want you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I like off the topic of PvP, we can move away because it's like a yeah, dead horse. Yeah, no, um, no. I think you got you guys hit the hit the hit, uh, nail on the head. Well, well no, it's it, interesting cool. because the, the so like we can move away, but it's interesting because like so Rakesium and Mad Cow are both like people who like still are trying to still be heavily involved in the PKing thing and the rice cup and I are both Ironman. So like it's like interesting to get like different like viewpoints of like one year like, we'll be right over there with you when there's no updates. So yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. I mean it's pretty obvious you know, like which what are the yeah. problems, right? So yeah. It's because PKers are just being forced to to like basically like not do it because it's just so but yeah. yeah. I, I think one last thing I'll say actually make it too like for <laughs> pvp to, for pvp to improve they need to get people that are passionate about pvp to work on pvp it's real simple I it doesn't think. take an expert to figure that out it's yeah, pretty yeah, clean and cut and secondly i think that if they do bring back dead man mode uh i think and i agree with you alfie i think they should just do um a seasonal to start with and then tournament afterwards because i actually personally do not like tournament just because nobody actually has fun Everybody just trains for the week. Whereas when you play seasonal, I love the tournament. You, can have, you can go and have fights with people. Yeah, but tournament, everyone's just playing safe. Like people don't go out risking. People don't go fight each other. Oh, They're just like you got those content creators that kill the people in blue dehyde and be like, I gotta feed my team, and I love that. I love it so much. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> oh that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they kill anyone. Really They're hard. like, hey, I gotta feed my team, man. I'm sorry, you gotta go. Poor oh, Agent yeah. Green D hide, man. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so uh do we continue more QA or do we uh go on with the next stuff? We can talk about yeah, the future yeah, I, I of Rings here. Were... Oh wait, no no no, I had a question for you guys. So uh so, oh, so I don't do YouTube, so this is actually interesting. Um when you guys reach late game, how do you guys like release consistent videos? Because like isn't it really hard to like because I tried so so like uh so I was like getting into YouTube because I I got banned for DMCA strike last year. It was freaking Jay Z. I hate you. <laughs> anyway, 
So, <laughs> so I, I was doing like trailblazer stuff and I could release a video once every like two or three days and it was freaking great. And it was pumping out and stuff like that. And then, yeah. and then I stopped doing trailblazer cause it was dead. Uh, and then I go back to my Iron Man and like, you can't release anything. Like, like, <laughs> freaking, like I could play like freaking 20 hours a day at freaking chambers of Eric. And what am I going to release after a week? Like a dex drop? Like, like how, how do you guys like keep like, yeah. Dude, I've not uploaded a video now in like a solid month. Like it's been pretty much an entire four weeks. Um, that's just kind of how Endgame is. Like if you're dedicated to one series, like I I'll be honest with you, man. Praise fucking Raid Shadow Legends, because if it wasn't for those, bro, like I'd have to go get a job. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of how it works. It's like you have to have a sponsor. And then you can continue to do this, but mm. you just try and make the video the best you can. Yeah, I, I, wait I, a long time. I guess I guess the question probably pertains to me the most because because like I, you know I make prize videos, right? And, uh, and men, I, I, men I make you and Racy right? as well recently. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, it's it's a it's really hard to all to like to be consistent the whole time. Like sometimes you kind of need a break. You know, like you know, trailblazer and stuff like that. But like for me, uh, it it definitely is is uh kind of trying to add fluff in a way that isn't like just you know completely terrible, right? Like sometimes a bit of commentary, a bit of like talking about your plans, which adds time to your videos, right? Is content to a lot of people. But like, but like ideally though, I would love to kind of tie things in with updates, right? Like one of the you know easiest strategies is tying tying updates in with like goals and stuff like that and i remember a good example was like you know like i'm our omega late game so there there's not like too much exciting things to do that you can like just you know show show results every day so like you know when i was working on that account uh nightmare and like uh, dark my was pretty good right because like nightmare gave a lot of interesting drops and like dark my gave a lot of interesting rewards that could like change how you play the account theoretically and it was just you know a matter of showcasing new updates here and there while also making it a prize video right like that was a good example of like how i really liked the late game prize videos because not only was it you know an actual video that i thought was good it, it also had progression you know it wasn't just like oh yeah i'm just gonna hunt a pet you know here's uh you know 20 hours of like pen hunting or whatever it was like more there was a story to it it's like yeah yeah new update we're gonna find out this item we're gonna see what it's about right like something like that but yeah you can't do that all the time though right so this this is why i i don't feel like i i want to play on my main account right now it's because like there's nothing particularly interesting to tie the progress videos to right so it's better for me to work on like a different different series i guess with you know that are less late game so it's more you know consistent i guess with the videos yeah. right so that's kind of like my thought process i guess a bit of updates and a bit of storytelling and stuff like that you know talking right ba basically filler, is filler yeah, yeah 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 a little bit of filler you gotta make filler, awesome filler that's man. good yeah you gotta make filler that's good but it's hard though it's hard because like sometimes yeah. you're like i don't want to talk you know i don't think people care but like a lot of people just enjoy listening to what you gotta say you know so yeah. so yeah if you incorporate that you you'll get a few minutes in the video no problem <laughs> you get a few minutes in the video. <laughs> you'll you know, squeeze a couple really in there fun. yeah like, hey everything it's definitely a good way yeah, everything counts, bro. You know, a few minutes here and there adds up. <laughs> I think it's it's kind of hard to compare two content creators because, like, sure. we all do such different stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. one series isn't the same as another and so forth. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just think that I stream now anyways. So thank God for that. That's like a real savior for me. I, I don't know how I didn't do it, man. For like three years, I just did YouTube. And I just I like watch. Nuts. I know it's it's so I, boring. I, I was banned for like a freaking two weeks or something, and I freaking. Uh, dude, I, I, yeah. I was here for you, bro. When that happened, dude, I was like, what holy. the A to the Z again? You know, like man, Twitch are so questionable with that kind of stuff, man. I like when you said like I've done this for the last X amount of years, and yeah. they're not even telling me it was a perma ban. It's just like yeah, no, these are the people the which hold your career in their hands, and it's yeah, no, crazy, man. dude. Yeah. I remember talking about it mm -hmm. on stream. I was like, oh, wait, tell the story quickly. What actually happened, Alfie? Maybe yeah, come yeah. back to me. I'm trying to remember what I said. All right, so I was doing Trailblazer League, and my first account was in the Inferno. And, yep. uh, uh, man, and, and, all, and all of a sudden, my chat just, like, pauses, and I'm just like, what's going on? 
Oh, and, okay. and, then, and then apparently I got a DMCA strike from a song called Jay Z Empire State of Mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even and, that great. And, and that's the worst part. There's a wave. There's a wave of like a lot of people got struck for systematic bands, right? And uh, and Jay Z, and, and and they were like, so they they sent a message to Twitch. They're like, hey, you need to do something about this content creator. They're stealing our music, or they're playing it without our permission, or whatever. And then Twitch essentially just del- either deletes the content creator off the map or gives them some kind of punishment, depending on Twitch's relationship with the content creator or how many hot tubs streams. Anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like my band, I think my band was supposed to be permanent, but I think like someone talked to Twitch staff for me. And that's yeah, yeah. Oh man. Band. Yeah, shout to the hidden legend, whoever he is, dude. Yeah, almost got Jay Z, dude. <laughs> yeah. But like they, they they didn't tell you whether it was a permanent ban or if it was a temporary ban, right? They oh. kind of kept you in the dark about it. I I think they threw away the key and then like I think like eventually I was gonna get unbanned, but I didn't know when that was. And it sucked because like it ruined my freaking cause I was like making bank during Trailblazer and like it just like destroyed all that because like freaking I no longer mm. could stream my account. I had to like make a new account off stream and it was actually going to be so like Signer and I were like doing like a comp- kind of like a hidden competition and like my mage was ahead of his and like it would have been sick to stream it all. And the- but yeah, I had to end up making freaking crappy YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean like, yo, Twitch is your calling, bro, you know, like for sure. That's where it, it's crazy. I You were uploading YouTube every single day. I remember that actually. It's like all coming back to me now. That was horrible, man. It was mm-hmm. like, I, I can't remember the metaphor I used, but I remember talking to my chat about it. I was just like, imagine going to work and being yes. told, like yeah. being dismissed, being like, oh, you? Because you did, you were in the dark for the whole thing for a while, I'm pretty sure. Imagine going to, dark, to like, go, go, go into work for your shift and you're like, your boss is just like, uh, no, you're suspended without pay. Go. And it's like, well, w- w- what did I do? And it's like we're not telling you. Just, just leave. You listen and it's to like, Jay Z. Well, can I, can I come? <laughs> like, actually, imagine that. Like, it applies. Like, if that kind of thing happened in real life, it's like that shit just doesn't happen. It's like there, there's a reason. Like, that's the scary thing with Twitch, man. I don't even like to think about it because the more I think about it, I'm just like, it doesn't make sense, and it scares me that this company holds like a part of like, you know, like income for myself and a lot of other people. It's terrifying how they can just do that and not say anything at all. It's scary. It, it's because I, I got so many messages from like other people who got banned for the same thing. Cause everyone was freaking panicking and like, everyone's like freaking out because a lot of people got banned for the same thing. And Twitch didn't say anything to anyone, which is like, it's just like a lack of, you know, a lack of uh, reaching out. Like the bigger streamers are fine. Like the ones who pulled like 10k who got banned, you know, obviously they had like a friend within Twitch and they got unbanned within three days, which is pretty yeah, 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 oh yeah. Yeah, but, but, but like most of us were like freaking out because like we didn't know like when we were gonna get unbanned. Like like why does the song have this much power? Like how much do I have to pay to like you know get rid of the strike or something? And we just didn't hear anything from anyone, which is weird because like IRL, like if you get like a thing like that, then you could just like you know work it out. But like on Twitch, there's like no communication and you're just at like at your computer, just like sitting there, just like panicking. Yeah. We used to have managers, or not managers, yeah, we but used someone to, used to like, talk to you. And now, yeah. anyone who's a Twitch partner, you're it takes it's hard, harder. Right? Yeah, unless you go to a convention, make friends, which is possible, and we've done that. But even they have their limits. If you actually meet some of the more popular mods, I mean, they're not mm-hmm. going to actually so go you, out of their you way. Got, you basically got to suck at the teat to get any answers. You got to show a little cheek, dude. All Fuck right? that, dude. Yeah. Fuck that. Scr- no. man, hey, listen, I'm in like, I'm in a, I'm in a situation where it's like, you know, if I get banned from Twitch, I'm just going to stream on YouTube, which to be honest with you, questionably probably should be where I stream because my audience is there. And I think about I, this all I, the time. I, I just like, why you don't stream on YouTube. No, exactly. Well, the reason I don't is because I'm partnered with Twitch, and I'm it's in my contract. I'm not allowed to. I can if I want unpartner and then go to affiliate and stream on YouTube. But I've built such a solid like I, I got such a beautiful community on Twitch now. I, I'd feel bad. It's like they've supported me for the last mm-hmm. year, and I don't feel like I can just do that because yeah. YouTube YouTube's great because my community is there, but like. It's not the same as Twitch. Like Twitch is definitely better in terms yeah, of like so accessibility good. and just yeah. everything. Everything's user friendly on Twitch. YouTube, not so much. So it, 
it is what it is. I've kind of just yeah. accepted that I upload YouTube videos on YouTube and I stream on Twitch. That's and if people yeah, want to no, come across and watch me, that's nice. You know, here's here's something I would say about that. It's like I, I don't think it's good to consistently stream on YouTube in the long run, just because uh, I I think what happens is people get drowned out by your content, and they might actually not want to watch your videos as much. You know. <laughs> That's kind of like, kind of like uh, specifically for you, Rexy. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they will be sick of me. they will be like, oh, I can't. Yeah, no, like, you, like I've noticed, I've noticed that, right? If you upload every day, and like if you say you're live every day, it's kind of like the same thing, you know? They're, they're on your sub box, so it, it it does drown out your stuff a bit. So I don't really mind the fact that you know things are separated, but yeah, it's just Twitch sometimes though. They with the copyright stuff. Uh, I mean, they have a lot of work to do. You know what I mean? Like, stuff like music, you know, that stuff should be, like, auto-muted on, like, broadcasts and stuff. You know what I mean? Without you doing shit. Because, like, it's lame that you have to, like, try to set it up yourself. Well, and we're not aware trying, of that, you know? They're trying uh, to catch... Because at the moment, as far as I'm aware, and I'm sure Alfie and you guys probably know more than I do, but as far as I'm aware, they can only DMCA strike you for a clip or VOD. But, like, while you're live, they can't. So there's, like, loopholes, like, mine set up well, so I can listen to whatever I want, but it doesn't... Uh, Paste it into clips. Like, there's no music in clips. It's just mic. And you, but you I hit live. It's hard though. Yeah, I've heard people yeah, so got they're hit trying live. to do that. Aren't they? Yeah. The best I can do is um. The best I can do is I I just don't play uh mainstream stuff. You know, that's kind of like my my safety card right now. You know. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. I'm my final strike. So like, I have to be so careful. But Dude. yeah, it would be so lame. He's got sea shanty had... on loop. <laughs> I yeah, listen to rock crazy. and metal, so I think I'm okay. It's mostly like hip hop and R and B, right? Yeah. But I, just, I did have Gangsters Paradise come on the other day, and I was like, this "Ooh, it's over for you, buddy." Yeah, just be careful, bro. I'll, just be I'll careful. played it, man. I played it all the way through. The chat was yeah. bogging. <laughs> Something about the rap. You about to get sent to a Gangsters Paradise? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, over. Yeah, it's scary. Hey, scary, I, I guess we, we already kind of talked about the PvP point of view, to be honest. We have. We can yeah. talk about Group Iron Man. Ooh, so... Yeah. Uh, who, who's going to be in our team, Elfie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, you know. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know how to play, man. Don't worry. Yes, I'm so, not so weird. I don't so, get it. So, so the team I'm going to go with is... Uh, it, we've been playing this out for like a year more or more. It's been a while. I'm with uh, Alkin, DBS, and Mudkip. Oh, strong. Um, Oh. Yeah, really strong. Yeah, because I, you know, I like winning. So you know, that's. I like how I have like little nerdy scores for everybody, man. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a strong all... team. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> DVS, Mucket. Well, those guys are all like skiller-ish people, you know, more. Skiller. Yeah, but they like can sit there and skill yeah, for they can weeks. Grind, they can grind hard. Yeah, yeah. weeks, yeah. man. I, I'm yeah. gonna be the weak point in that team. I'm gonna be the freaking one that does PVMing for the whole team, and they're all. Gonna you can quest them. them. That's it. You yeah, can just you're, quest no, them you're, you're kind of the carry though, you know, because you can do very high level PVM. So. Yeah. So, so the only problem is that Devious is like, I mean, I guess it's not a problem. I mean, I'm happy for him. He's like doing really good in COD, I think. So yeah, uh, yeah, Warzone, yeah, insane. I've been seeing that. He's he's a beast. I sometimes yeah. work in his chat. He does really well. I, I assume he's still gonna play though. I think he's just doing it because he's bored of RS. Is he doing well, like uh, viewer wise on it, or like a no couple idea. hundred, couple hundred yes, views? I believe. I, it's it's not bad at all. I, I don't think there's any community out there that's as generous as the old school RuneScape community, but yeah, like, he's obviously works. getting, he must be getting by because he's still doing it, you know? Well, he's a yeah. very high skilled player. That's why he gets views. He's not like a super, like, you know, when you watch him play RuneScape, you're not going to sit there and have, like, oh, he's going to tell a joke now, right? No, you're going to see him <laughs> fletch and he's going to flesh it out. I think he is hilarious. You're mean. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, he's just keep, he's keeping those views with straight gameplay, is what I'm saying at Warzone, which is super yeah. impressive. Mm -hmm. From an old school RuneScape to Warzone, to keep both views um, entirely based on skill, is yeah, 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 it's skill based. Pretty crazy, man. I like mm -hmm. obviously I like Devious. I think he's very entertaining. But I'm saying you're gonna watch him for skill over. You At know, least for cost streams, because he's like switching communities in a way, you know. So these people are like. He's, he's he's making plays, man. Yeah, yeah. So, do you guys have any plans for Group Iron, or do you guys like? Well, never... it's it's tough because, man, I I, I feel guys, bad. You forgot right my plan, day. bro. Remember, I had a yeah. plan for us, man. We oh, rush yeah, 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 yeah. every boss first, and then we quit <laughs> every boss yeah, first. I guess. I mean, yeah. The thing is, I, I'm I not going to be a hard plan. 
I'm not gonna hard plan until there's a date, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll be down to like stick with this plan if you know you guys are actually gonna commit. You know, for example, I'll commit Dude, a couple well, weeks. Mm -hmm. if, if you guys actually want to do it, I'll be down to do it. We get Verf as well. Verf's a monster, right? Verf yeah, is a monster. You can, you can yeah. grind like crazy. Verf we can give him really low tier Inferno set, and he'll just do a day like four or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think mm -hmm. I, I I haven't even thought about it that much to be honest. Sorry, Alfie, mm -hmm. what's that? No, that, that's crazy. I freaking love Verve. The freaking, like, the, the fact that he actually completed the freaking Karamja series is nuts. I never thought that thing, because I was a freaking, like, hard, like, fan of, like, his Karamja account. Like, I, I just thought, like, the account was, like, never going to be completed. Like, 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 there's no way he, like, actually, like, does bro, the Verve like, don't account. milk, bro. You know, he don't milk. <laughs> he do, you know? He built it. <laughs> yeah, he built it for, for sure. Dude, low level Iron Man is freaking. People are always like asking, like, if I'm gonna do like low level Iron Man on this hardcore, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> dude, here's here, dude. Here's a really good question, Alfie. I yeah. got a question for you, good sir. So, um, I'm sure a lot. I, I feel like this conversation hasn't really been had enough, like where we've really hashed it out. So, we were talking before the uh, the podcast about like the prices of items dropping down and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, right? we're gonna cover that now. And I'd like to, I'd like to tell you my philosophy on things when it comes to old school RuneScape, and I'd like to hear what you think and what you think as well. Okay, so you you hear people constantly saying like RuneScape's dead, uh, you know, there's nothing to do, there's no end game content, or all of this. Well, everyone always my, that, but sure. <laughs> yeah. My philosophy on it is like, you know, the trouble of old school RuneScape is the content comes in at such a slow pace. I'm I'm a I'll say it now, bro. Sounds political, but I hate I hate the voting system. I think it's just like it, it's kind of like slowed things down so much to the point where it was needed to begin with, but now it feels like we'd be way better off if it wasn't there. But like, I, like it. I think I, I think I, a lot of updates that didn't make it into the game. I'm glad they're not here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's some, there's some, but there's a few that are, you know. Well, I mean, I, I, you know, people can have different opinions about that, but mm -hmm. yeah. So so like, I mean, it might be different for everyone, but like. Obviously, the majority of the people didn't want specific things in the game, so like a lot of people are gonna, you know, agree with me, and some people are gonna disagree on a certain update, and like that. That's yep. the system. And mm -hmm. I actually like the point system a lot. I think it's, I think it's really good. I think um, it's just like people are at like such different points of the game that like peel my different ideas and certain things, and especially when it comes to PvP. Like, mm -hmm. I, sorry, I don't want to go back there. But yeah, <laughs> you get it. They get no, we get. There's definitely different sides to it, especially when it comes to, like PvP and the voting system and the voting system as a whole. I feel like those are two separate discussions, right? It's like the poll system in itself and then the PvP poll system. It's like two different topics. Yeah. But anyways, it's like there's a ceiling for old school RuneScape, which is the end game content, right? And it's like there's loads of content to do in old school RuneScape, and it takes a really long time to get to that ceiling. But it's like where there hasn't been, like we've not had a proper PVM update in so long. Like raids came out, what, like three years ago? It, it, it's kind of like a lot of people have hit that ceiling now where they're just waiting for the next piece of endgame content to come out. Like people are just dying for it. And it's it, it's really <laughs> difficult for people that have actually got to the end game. It's like if you're at the end game, it's the most frustrating thing ever because you know that the game's really good. There's some crazy crazy good content within the game but there's nothing for you to do once you've got to that point you know like what do you think could be something that could um what what, what do you think would help that do you have any ideas Whoa, wait wait so what the next like update what, what do you mean i'm sorry like, what, <laughs> what do you think could be a really good long-term piece of end game content for people that are right at the ceiling oh you know? Well, well raid three like raid three is is so so right so i i had an idea for raid three that i explained on stream i like i, I think that like so you ha as the company you have to worry about power uh like the power creep. ceiling yeah power creep yeah yeah, yeah. sorry sorry mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and so like you have to be cautious of of what you release because you don't want to just straight up ruin the game so you don't want to be like all right we're gonna release a piece of content and we're gonna release this which is another reason why the polling system is good i think because like if Jagex tried anything like that where they like release something too powerful, the community would just be like, nope, too strong. So that's good. So it keeps power creep in line, which is like the main like idea of why the polling system should still be around because of something like that. Because if a Jagex mod is off his rocker trying to release something like EOC, it never happens, you know, because that poll would have failed. But um 
Anyway. How, how do you feel, how do you feel about the poll uh, the poll the seventy five percent being brought down, or do you think seventy five is fair? Um, I mean, you could bring it down, but you wouldn't bring it down by much. Maybe like sixty six or something, like two thirds instead of three fourths. But like, I mean, even with that, like th- th- then maybe like too many powerful stuff passes, and the game like power creeps too hard. But 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 as far as like new updates are concerned, like raids three. If you guys go look at your mini map, uh, Menaphos. The, the Menifos area is like is like blanked out, so I guarantee that's where it's gonna be. Yeah, uh, I'm hoping it's like a mage based thing where like a lot of the bosses like have to do with like being weak to mage because we have so much range in melee and like mage isn't useful anywhere. And so if Jagex, hopefully, you know, I I don't want to like you know I, I I hope that the raids three like main thing is like weak to magic so that like magic actually has a really good place in Runescape. Whereas right now it's like yeah. mm-hmm. not like a side piece, you know. Yes. Yeah, no, I agree. A lot of people are already kind of, you know, mm-hmm. feeling that that the desert needs something big. Eventually. Well, well, we're good. We can move away from the desert. Desert got something huge. Yeah, the fishing yeah. boss. Yeah, fishing boss. Oh, my God. Dude, I, I, <laughs> I'm going to be, gonna be saying that fishing boss is AG fishing. You know, I'm going to, you know, get anglers there. Big, big, big update. All right, we're good. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, so no, you like, think just bringing out, like, new raids content and stuff like that, I feel like sure. It's difficult, isn't it? Because that's gonna it's definitely gonna provide content and a lot of it. But like as soon as people have completed that, it's like well, we're in the same oh, position. God. Like let's make race three like how hard do you want it? I want race three. Dude, to be so I want it hard. I then. want it so hard and I want it so <laughs> team oriented and focused. Oh, baby. <laughs> dude, I, I was talking so dude, dude, here's here's something that I would love. I would love for fucking tanky gear to have a place in this game where it's actually useful in the sense of like i was talking to my chat the other day and i was like imagine if in raids free there's a boss where it's like you have to have a designated tank it's like if they don't have a fucking full set of uh just, uh, just a car and a dead yeah. bulwark they get one shot and the only way to keep them alive with how fast the boss boss attacks is to have healers eg lunar spellbook kill lover and like they have to be able to coordinate for you, like Teamspeak or Discord, to be able to kill that raid boss. Something really, really challenging. Yeah, like, no, I want something be, really like, hard too. There could be, the DPS could be, you know, people that are vengeing, and the boss might attack so fast. Yeah, it's like you have would, to cycle through hills. Yeah, I would love. Up. I would That'd love. Race, awesome. Yeah, exactly. I would love race to be race three to be so hard in the sense that in order to obtain maximum DPS, you have to not focus on just straightforward DPS. You know. Yeah. Right. Like focus more on like optimizing the mechanics, right? So that so that dude you gain the DPS. Like, you know. I actually, like I actually imagine that if they right. made it so like you know, I I would love to see something where like teamwork is key. Like if you and your boys aren't incredibly familiar with the content or you guys aren't in like some sort of team speak or whatever like you stand like zero chance of killing that boss you have to coordinate things in a certain way like when i think of raids i think of world of warcraft because i feel like they did some mass scale raids in a really good way okay i i truly do i think that experience for raiding genuinely feels like you're working with your boys to be able to kill a massive boss and I feel like that's it's, something which yeah. it's kind of there with what we have, but not quite. It feels I, more I, like a dungeon think, run than I a think raid. Like World of Warcraft, they really do focus on like you know trying to do like 10, 20 man stuff. But I feel like in old school, we 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 should have a similar experience, but without having to force like 10, 20 people to do the same. You know, what I mean, to be a part of the same raid or whatever, right? I'd love to see a, a mass scale thing like that. That'd be sick. Yeah, but like I guess it's just t- it's just tough because you know it's really hard to coordinate like twenty people. You know, I feel like race three yeah, probably but that, that would make it that would make it so good. Like that would be end game. That would be like yeah. it's not even a case I of having the it. best. I, well, best it would require stats. some you pretty have good deep. communication with your boys. Or you're fucked. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, so you you wish it could be solo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I don't <laughs> mind the fact that like it's five people, right? Like if it's like a five people thing, like I feel like that'd be great. It's just hard to do twenty though. You know. But like okay, like, I would so like I wouldn't even mind a twenty man requirement content as long as I guess the content itself isn't so critical to I guess advancing your account because it would be really hard because in a way you're kind of like capping people from doing the content right because like if you don't have the 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 uh, the social connection that's that that's a high bar to it. Then you yeah, make but, but that's you're doing clan. Dude. 
Right. Hey, that's a, yeah, that's dude. That's the thing with clans, bro. Like clans yeah. used to be the bread and butter and the soul of the game. If you were in a clan, what are you doing, right? It was more of a social experience. Iron Man has completely sucked the socialism okay. out of it. It's gone. So, so but do you but, want the socialism? <laughs> but like, do you yeah, want? It's, it's gone. It's no but do you, social. But do you, is yeah, it? but like, social. Yeah, but like, do you want race three to be like 10, 20 people requirement, or do you want to keep it like low? You know. I That'd I would cool. like it. I would, I would like it to be bigger. I would yeah. like it to be bigger, and I would like it to be fair. So if you are an Iron Man, it has like a similar, you know, loot system yeah. to what we currently have for raids or nightmare. So you but want I it just, to be like a big expedition, then. dude. I just think like I, I really had this. Like, dude, I had an epiphany, and I, I was thinking like, dude. We have healer class. We have a healer class in RuneScape. RuneScape is so robust. You can do so many things. I've never known a game, an MMO, where you can switch between being like a warrior, uh, an archer, a mage so fluidly. Like that's the beauty with mm. RuneScape, I think. I think that's what really makes it stand out above all other uh, MMOs. But like, you basically have a healer class. You've got Lunars. Everybody can do it. Imagine if there was a boss and it was like you needed a designated tank to be able to do damage to this boss. You needed people to avenge that person. You needed to heal other. And you needed, say, like, like say the boss attacks five pa five times in a rapid strike. And it's like each time it'll leave the tank with like one health. You have to time and coordinate like your healer one, your healer two, your Avenger one, your Avenger two. Keep that fucker alive. And if you mess up and there's like a second delay, the whole team wipes. You're done. Like that would be the most like end game like team oriented team oriented content. Okay, ever. maybe I not like an maybe not like an instant fail if you mess up once. You know, maybe not like an instant fail. That'd be because that'd be a little bit uh, too bullshit because of DC or whatever. You know, like there but should be like, some sort of like you know, like I, I feel I feel like you should right? you shouldn't you That's shouldn't have bit. to handicap content because the servers can't keep their shit together. I know, I'm just saying that's an example, but I'm just saying, like, I, I feel like there might be some wiggle room, you know, necessary. But, but potentially, but I, I'm yeah. just I'm just trying to, like, like give you an example of something that could be really intense yeah. where you, you have to be like, yo, Alfie, you're healer one, Mint, you're Venger one, uh, Re, you're gonna be the tank, I'm gonna heal you the second time, there's, like, a two-tick delay between each time, and it's like, after you heal other, you're gonna have to brew yourself back up to how to heal in the next rotation. Like, if they had something that was like that, that needed that much intense coordination, you would almost be forced to join a clan. And I feel like that social aspect, like that is what end game PVM should be. It shouldn't just be, I'm going to do a hundred solo CMs tonight and just sit here listening to fucking Slipknot. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it should be something a bit more social. It's a raid. It's not a dungeon. It's something, it's like you're raiding with the boys, you know? Mm, so it's yeah, be like hauling ass through that place. That that's just that's just my that's how I see yeah, it. Yeah, I, I I don't. Yeah, I, I mean I I think there's pros, you know, to that. It's just I don't know. Twenty man's kind of hard. Like ten man's kind of hard to set up, you know. So, mm -hmm. but but I mean I want race three though, you know. Like if it, if it can be like you know like I want it to be a group thing mostly, but yeah, it's just it's it's just I'm a little wishy washy in like having like more than ten people having to you know be a part of it, right? What rewards do you guys think should be uh, from raids three? We have the best in slot melee weapon, the side from TOB, best in slot range so, so weapon. Here's, here's my idea. Yeah. So, um, I, I, actually, wait, Minz, you want to go first? You can go first. Go talk to him. I mean, you have an idea. I would just start making up random PK <laughs> weapons. So, <laughs> I'll let you go first. You, need for you, leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have an idea. Sure. Uh, okay. So, uh, power creep is a problem. So, uh, delving more into the like strong against X type would be where I want to go. Yeah. So 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 put the raids three in the desert, mm -hmm. and then make it so that the main like loot you get like strength against that specific mm -hmm. monster. So the item in question becomes best for raids three. So mm -hmm. like let's let's say that the it's like a locust thing, right? Yep. So you make it strong against locusts, and then you have like a or like bugs, you know, for example, just like bugs maybe. What was that, bro? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> wind? Is it wind? It's an earthquake or something. Or just like a car or something driving by. I don't know. And anyway, I thought you were having like an earthquake or something. Jesus, man. No, it, that was weird. Anyway, so, okay, so you have the strong against locusts, and then you have, like, strength against, like, you can do demons, vampires, and... Uh, or, 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 yeah. There's one. Mm -hmm. but, 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 like, so you have, like, different type, like, type strength. And it becomes the best in slot against, like, that, like, type of monster. So you have, like, something that's, like, uh so the locust thing it's like a mage weapon 
because the rage three in, in my brain will be weak against magic. So you have like a new sure. like salt like magic weapon, and then like hopefully they do rage three where like you need like L- elemental like you know specific like fire specific, specific specific elemental strength, and then you have like a bunch of rewards like that, and then you have like the 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 vampires would be like a a range thing so it'll be the new like and then you would class tob as vampires so that the range thing would be almost as good as a scythe against verzik and then you have the demons where like it's like slightly stronger than the arc light but it doesn't require charges mm-hmm. and you have like okay. armor sets with it as well well yeah the question would be then how many items do you want from that raid three you know like 10 uh, items five items so so it'd be like a helm uh body legs and then three of or three of those sets so it'd be like nine items there and then you have like three weapons so like a bow and then you have a and you have like a sword and then you have a staff and then for mage you can throw in like uh you can throw in an amulet and you can throw in a offhand as well mm, okay yeah. sounds cool <laughs> yeah for, for the melee weapon because it would just be tight strength for the mm. melee weapon, could they do something like um, I don't know what the name of it is. There's a specific dagger that's really powerful. Yeah, caress, like yeah. the Cal- yeah, they caress, could be like yeah. an add-on. Because I, I remember talking to one That'd of my cool. chatmates about that. Because you're right, desert. I feel like the desert raid should be kind of like a Tomb Raider experience, right? Because you know, desert pyramids, right? And like, there's such a big, I guess, a gaming culture with that type of stuff, like Tomb Raider, right? Stuff like that. And, and and like we all ha- we all have these lore of like Calphite queens and and whatever, right? So yeah, there should be a ton of bugs and stuff, right? In this, uh, in yeah. this yeah. Thing, right? I, I think it'd be like a locust thing. Like, yeah, like locusts, bugs, yeah, Calphite. I mean, there's right? so many different types of bugs. Like you can do like a bunch of right. rooms, like all kinds they can, of bugs. Like, exactly. You know, like a room and like a locust room, and you can have like a yeah, you know, like a so it would be like a it would be like a one off like it would be like a quest after contact in order to like get a teleport. Yeah somewhat close to the place maybe not there though it would just be like kind of like sort of kind of okay it would like teleport you to like the wanderer yeah i would love some like bug bosses yeah. like some kofi queen on steroids bosses like some mummy bosses like like you know pharaoh guardians right like because you know if you're tomb raiding you're gonna be protecting a lot of loot and there's gonna be like booby traps and like guardians right to protect like the <clears> treasures <throat> right like that kind of stuff that's my that was like kind of the idea that i was going with and yeah, you can how totally you, make some unique items that are uh, best and suffer like bugs and stuff. How do you guys feel about after each demi boss? So typically throughout the two raids we have, you kill demi bosses, then you kill the final boss. How would you guys feel about the demi bosses having maybe their own specific loot or like I a chest it. at the I end? Yep. So so, yeah. so yeah, you have the demi boss drop and it rolls for each person in the raid, each of the twenty people in the raid, and then um. And, and and then you have like one specific person like getting like the best loot and it like rolls it at random like based on your points based on raids one raids two and rolls every single boss so every single boss has yeah. a chance to drop like the specific item like to their room I guess and you uh, to- yeah right. I, I guess so but like I, I was thinking more so like they should like that, they should cool. I was thinking they should try to change up the rotations unlike t- like so you know how like raids one the rotations kind of always different. And then rates two, it's the same exact thing. I feel like it should be a weekly change, you know, a weekly reset. Like you should get like something that you can get used to for a bit, and then next week it's different, right? That's a lot of work. That, I yeah, mean, that hey, they'll keep work, it, they'll keep good. it more interesting though, because like TOB, it's so predictable, you know. Like, <laughs> and then with rates one, people are just kind of cheesing it all the time by scouting, right? Yeah. So, I, I wouldn't mind. Uh, so I wouldn't mind rates three being a thing where like you have to pay a fee to enter. And then, like, if you decide to go out, it's the same as Rage 1 where it changes the rooms. But, like, if you decide to do that, you're losing money because you spend money every time you enter the raid. Also, yeah. you can't scout it. So, so yeah, they could make it unscoutable. So it costs 100k to I enter like the, the raid. Oh, I mean, that would be that'd be really nice because that's what Rage 1 was supposed to be until people were, like, yeah. big brain the, the rotations and shit. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so it'd be like a – I mean – I like the idea of Team of 20, but I guess it can be scaled down. And then once you enter the raid, you can't leave. And if you do, you, you basically lose your 100k deposit to do the raid. Yeah. The, the only problem is the learning curve will be a disaster. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't mind, dude. I'm biased, though. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, like, the yeah. majority of the player base. So you can't no, really. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah. But like but, that's that's like the same with the nightmare boss. But yeah, like I, when the I, nightmare I, I boss came out, people people said that was really bad. They were like, you get nothing good. People even still say that. But like when the nightmare boss came out, my mentality towards it was like, this is a cool boss. It's like it's a it's a lottery system boss. It's like this shit's gonna eat through your supplies. You can only really kill this if you have like end game gear. And it's like you will get absolute rubbish every single kill, but like there's that lottery chance that you're gonna get yourself something good so it's like instead of being constantly rewarded every single kill it, it's literally costing you money up until the point where you actually get a drop and i feel like that that's a less hurtful like it's a less hurtful mechanic to like the ecosystem than uh, obviously I, just I, being I like giving you a good drop every time i was just going Sorry. into my idea of like the the, the 100k to enter thing because like people will like definitely be veered off it until like they'll just be like oh we'll just wait for the people who are good at it to learn so you kind of have to make it free so yeah, I don't, I don't mind the punishment don't, factor because it's necessary. But yeah, so mm -hmm. so I think like um I, I think with raids three, there's no way that they're gonna be able to actually make it like a like I don't know how they deal with the system, but it'd be really cool to not be able to like change up what you're doing. But like it maybe like once you exit, you can't re-enter for 30 minutes. That would work. So you have to like yeah. do the radio the wait. But but I mean you could like work around that with a bunch of different accounts, I guess. But like maybe you have to have like high stat requirements to even do the quest to be able to get in it. That way you can't really cheese it at all, really. Mm -hmm. so. By the way, Rice, what about you know you're saying that you want stuff to be solo ball and like you know you don't have to have a huge team. Uh, let's I say theoretically, solo ball, but I just meant like ten to twenty people is kind of hard to uh, quote. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So smaller man teams, like yeah. how about if they had a dynamic to these raids where it's like it's physically impossible to do it to begin with but like one of the rewards from one of the potential bosses is something that's like an add-on to like i don't know the bulwark or the just a car where it's Please like no you can then you could then with that with that um with the add-on you could actually do it in a lot smaller team because obviously the defense or whatever the perk is of it could increase so you'd have to start in big man teams but once you have that you could like you know shrink down the size of your group Mm, wait, wait. Uh, I'm a little confused. Wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. Can you uh rephrase you that? Go again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about there being like a tank in this raid. I think that's something that would be really, really nice, right? For for raids as a whole, it's like there's not really a tanky. Like it'd be nice to have a tank, like somebody that like absorbs the damage and have to have a super like a super high defense in order to like survive the hits. So what I'm saying is. If it started out and that was to theoretically be what came into the game, which is wishful thinking, but if it did, uh, if they made it so it was super hard to begin with and you'd have to coordinate with like a lot of people to be able to do your heals and your vengeance and stuff like that, but there would actually be a drop from a boss inside the raid that could be used as an add-on to like enhance your tanky gear or something along those lines where you wouldn't have to have so many people join you and do that. It wouldn't have to be so rehearsed. It could be a lot more chill, so it can get uh, easier over time. Okay, I mean, I guess that's the goal of the new gears to make things easier, right? For like it's that specific content, I guess. Yeah, I mean, eh, it just uh, it just really depends overall, I guess, on what hap on what happens. Like, I'm just saying, it's kind of hard to set up ten, twenty people. You know, it would have to be kind of a quite a different dynamic. Like, they would have to make some pretty good rewards, you know, to make to yeah, make that. Done. I agree. Yeah, yep. to make that I mean, like, worth it. If they made it really difficult, there'd have to be really good rewards. But I, I feel like you'd also have people that really want to actually kill the boss. Like that's the difference between somebody who wants to get good at TOB and somebody that wants to get TOB KC, which I'm sure you experience. It's like if you want to improve at TOB, you got to want it. Like you need to want to improve. And there's some people that just want to get KC. And they're happy just being carried every single time. Like it'd be nice to have an end game piece of content where it's like, if you want to do this, you have to put everything you have into it, or no, you're not gonna make I do, it. I do want it to be that hard though, for sure. But um, yeah, no, you were, you know, you guys were talking about like the entropy and stuff, but like, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind it. It's just I think it would be really hard to implement it because people are just gonna complain. Whereas, yeah, which no, is no, why no, I, was, I disagree with my idea of an entry fee. I, yeah, I, which is which is why I was thinking once a week it would change rotations would be yeah. like nice. So, so instead, you could do random rotations like raids one, and then yeah. also you could do uh, a thirty minute timer. 
So so once you enter the raid, you can't re-enter in thirty minutes. Uh, okay. I mean, you could do that. Sure, sure. But they need to figure out like they need to make sure that like DCs don't count and stuff. I guess like they need to find a way around that part. Or just don't don't have the servers be bad. You know. <laughs> yeah, or fix your <laughs> servers. That'd be nice. Uh, that, yeah, it's a little that that yeah, it would be a little tough, but. Oh, how about this? It's either you wait thirty minutes or you pay hundred k. You know, right to bypass that. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's quite good. I like you know that. I mean? Yeah, that, that'll get a bunch of complaints, but sure. Hey, hey, if you don't want to pay, you everything can wait for- gets complaints, man. Yeah, no, I, I feel like you can't you, please everybody, you, man. You could technically have both, right? So, like, if you don't like that one, you can. Yeah, use yeah, that. yeah, true. So, so you can't. You don't need to necessarily scrap your original idea. It could still work. Yo, uh, Alfie, and, here's what the. I was gonna. I, right, so you're saying you get a load of complaints. Do you not think that like the whining, complaining old school Inkscape community has been a product of like the poll system in a way, where people have had a lot of say in things, and it's like I, I feel like that's created okay. that culture, man. I think that's why people are like that. Uh, I I, th- I think people complain about every game. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a lot of like. I I, I think there's some like. So, so there's definitely some like value to like listening to people who complain about things because it, it's it's a large portion for specific things. Like you have, uh, uh, for instance, you have the thing where people complained about the new PvP. Like, uh, so the PvP community was talking about a PvP pet, and so then like all the pet hunters were like coming out of the blue, being like, "Oh, this is like a horrible idea because of this." But like, you don't know if like they're complaining for that reason or if they're just complaining because they're pet hunters and like they like you know just don't want yeah. that or so you have to like you'd like kind of like figure out yourself like why someone's complaining about something but there's definitely some good to listening to feedback feedback's really important e- even if it's negative like sometimes because like, no you're right you're right so, I think- so for instance, when it comes to like listening to people that complain it's it, it, it's like it's like when someone tells you about how you look you're not going to remember when someone's like oh yeah you look decent you know someone's <laughs> you're gonna remember someone says oh you look like shit you know <laughs> People will only see the negative and people won't really see the positive. And like it's yeah. re- recently it's been people are waiting for new stuff. But like at the same time, Jarex gets a lot of compliments as well about like the game and stuff like that. And a lot of us love the game. That's why that's why we complain about things because we want the game to be great. And we think it's a great game already and it can get better, you know, and yeah, how yeah. to make it better. So, so here's what I would add to it. Right. So obviously now that social media is like, you know, like maximum effectiveness right now you're not going to be able to escape like different groups of people with different interests complaining like i think the biggest thing for jagex obviously is that they, they should definitely be grateful that there are people complaining now the hardest part is discerning between whether or not the complaint is for selfish reasons or if the complaint is for you know like in, if, if for reasons of to make the game better right because it's really it's very clear when well it's not very clear but like for me it's it's pretty easy sometimes when i hear someone complain about something that it's not because they care about the game they, it's more so they care about themselves it's it's about finding for jagex i think the hardest part is understanding whether it's or not suffering for the bullshit basically yeah yeah whether or not actually feedback is actually good for the game or, or i think it's pretty easy yeah. that's, that's another reason why the polling system is so great because like if you think that enough people are complaining have a voice you pull it and then if it passes then oh there was a bunch of people. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I think the polling system. Like, oh, just kidding. Yeah. They were just talking shit. Yeah. I think the polling system does have merit in that instance, but like sometimes it's, it's Jagex isn't really po- polling a complaint. Sometimes Jagex is polling like selfish related updates. Like, like if, if Jagex one day said, hey, do you guys want 1 million GP for free? Who's not, who's going to vote no, right? Like, because some, mm-hmm. sometimes people just want things f- for themselves, not necessarily like, Oh, is this update good for the game? You know, like so you have to be careful because yeah. I think that's what Rick C is probably was trying to get at is that sometimes some updates aren't necessarily was pulled with the intention of like, oh yeah, is would this update actually like benefit the game in the long run? Or or is it just to satisfy like a short term player who's just you know just kind of lazy and he's probably not gonna play anyways in like two weeks, right? Regardless. Yeah. Like, Dude, I mean, I, like I, I can tell you right now, like, my thing with the poll, my entire opinion on the poll system, like, firstly, I've played this game since, like, the beginning, and um, so there's the sense of an adventure and mystery with RuneScape <laughs> that you used to have back in the day. Like, so here's the thing. Jagex fucked up. 
unbelievably when they took away the wildy, the free trade, and they made RuneScape free. There's no doubt about that. But RuneScape free, its own thing. Old school RuneScape's its own thing. The way I see it is the polling system was 100% needed to begin with because it gave the players and community the ability to basically get trust back into Jagex. And I feel like over the last, how long has old school been out? Eight years? I, I feel like Jagex, it's like for the most part, dude, when, when they first bring old school RuneScape out, I was so against everything. I was voting no to everything. Gold War Dungeons? Hell no. Wasn't back in the day. Do you know what I mean? Like all of that stuff. And as time progressed, it was like, well, they've actually brought out some really good updates here and they've listened. They've done some good things. They're not going down the path of MTX. They're not trying to make this into the, you know, the evolution of combat. Um, but there's something that's missing from the game now. And for me personally, the days that I miss, I miss the adventure, man. It's like whenever like new content comes in the game, it's like you already know all about it. You know what the rewards are going to be. You know where it's going to be. You know how it's going to like work and all of that. It, it's like there's not much left for the imagination. Like Instead of it feeling like it's an adventure and you're going to log in, it's like, oh my God, there's a new fucking boss to kill. It's like, oh yeah, we've been talking about that for the last year. Like We know exactly what it is, what it drops, where it's going to be. I feel like the sense of adventure gets sucked out of the game as soon as it becomes like a, it needs to get this many votes to pass. <clears throat> that That's like my issue with it. That's so, what I have a problem mm, with. So, so here's the thing. So like, we're not like, if, if we were 14, it might be the same way, but like we're older now. So we like do research at this point. So it, it, it's, it's a different game because we're different people. It, it, it's not like because like we lack the sense of adventure or like it, it's a game where we know everything now it's because now our brains are more knowledgeable about everything because we're older and we look into things more and and things become less of a mystery because that's how we choose you know we, we can choose to make them a mystery again we can choose to like you know not pay attention to anything and just like play it on release and then it'll be a total mystery but because we decide <laughs> to like yeah, it's, yeah that's no it's pretty hard just because yeah. you know like you kind of have to keep up to date with like their information as well, a content creator and stuff, but it's it's hard. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a, that's a fair point, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. I, the game is I, never going to be like it was when we were fourteen. Like it, it, we're just different people now. Yeah, no, that's that's true. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too much of a reminiscer. I miss that. Like you know, so, I, so, I just feel yeah, like I, I, I just for, for nostalgia. It, it, it's a thing. Like like this this game like brought us back because it's like oh yeah you know this is a game we used to play when we were a kid. Well, I always hated this game, but I mean for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i don't know i just i i guess i kind of um, um i i miss just allowing jagex to have that having that creative freedom just to be like hey i'm gonna like as a dev like i'm just gonna start working on this piece of content like, yeah can you imagine being a jagex employee and it's like you can't even be creative with your own work it's like it has to pass the poll it's like you know so you can't really put your heart into it until you know where it's gonna pass Dude, I don't envy that position, man. That must that must not be the funnest time. I, I agree 100% with that. That freaking blows. That, that part of the polling system is freaking awful. Yeah. Just, no, like, which, which, yeah. Is, which is why we were kind of saying, like, we should, we should. So, I mean, initially, like, like, um, let's, let's just say, like, a year or two ago, I really would have loved the polling system to be more of a feedback system where 75% didn't necessarily always meant it was a yes. Or yeah, you know I mean, or if it didn't pass 75, it was a no. It was more like a strong indicator. I really would have liked that, but like I see that Jagex has started to uh, give the voting system less power as of late because now you know they're doing a lot of changes that that they don't care like to put the, put in the polls, right? They're like actually saying like this is like we got to do what we got to do, you know. So well, it's nice to see I that they are taking taking some more you know, of their own power back, right? Away from the polling system. Because honestly, I feel like there's some there's some serious flaws to it, you know? It, it just doesn't make sense why 75% has to be the deciding factor every time, right? Like, it makes sense, though, if something is being, like, polled at 75%, it's very strongly suggested that this the people want this or people don't want that, right? But, like, it shouldn't be, like, the the determination, you know what I mean? The determining factor. Like, it's, I think there's a lot of stuff, other outside things that you should consider. because. Because, like, the thing with the polling system is that there's a ton of really bad biases. Like, like people are selfish, right? They like to vote yes to things that, that benefits them, but does not necessarily benefit the game in the long run, right? So you have to, like, think about those things in mind. And, and you know, sometimes even if it's 75%, it, should, it doesn't necessarily mean that should be a pass, right? 
uh, according no. to right. Wait, I can't hear you. <laughs> I I said according to and then dot dot dot. Oh. Because the thing is, like you're saying, like oh, his opinion is biased. Like he's probably well, no, no. It's more so the the way the polling system is designed has a lot of biases that you have to take into account, right? Like you have to take those into account because it's not a very like it's just not a very proper way to do the statistics. Is is what I'm saying? You know, like like if you were an actual statistician posting these polls to determine. Like and you want real answers that you want it to be as least biased as possible, right? But the problem is the way it's designed has a lot of flaws. You know, well, everyone's biased, even even Jagex developers. Well, there... yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But like, I'm talking about in a, it's hard to explain because like you, because like when you develop a survey, you have to, like like a real statistician when they develop a survey, they have to make sure that the way it's designed minimizes as much bias as possible. But like the way that the polling system structured is very. It's just not a very proper way. It does lead to some unintended consequences. I'll give you an example, right? When so they wait, said, wait, 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 wait. What do you suggest instead? No, I'm, so like I was saying, I, I feel like it should be two years ago. My, my opinion was they should make it instead of more of a deter, like a, a 100% determinant, it should be a heavy indicator. As in, it shouldn't be the deciding factor between an update. It should be a strong suggestion, right? So who decides? Oh, like, I feel like Jagex should ultimately still decide, but b because we have transparency and we do see the numbers, it should give them a lot of weight, right? They shouldn't obviously be saying yes, or or they shouldn't be saying no to a lot of things that that have a seventy five percent, right? But like there should be some times where they should make that decision where okay, actually there's this outside variable where it probably wouldn't make the cut. Now now we've realized that it's probably just not right either way, you know what I mean? And then they they scrap that idea, right? But like it, it, like it should be more so. Like generally speaking, if it's seventy five percent, yeah, then most of it should pass, right? Assuming you, ha you, you know, the faith of the people, it's good. But but it shouldn't always the be. People. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it shouldn't always be like, oh, it's seventy five percent. We should let it let like, it. I, I I don't know anything about making. Uh, so, I don't know anything about making polls. Like that's too big brain for me. But I get what you're saying. But like, yeah, but, I was yeah. giving you the example though, because like I remember, yeah. uh, a few years ago, right? For a few years, they were just really not paying attention to what they were polling. And you you know why? It's because now they're trying to backtrack and fix a lot of shit that they that they uh, they put out right, and they realize that it's not good for the game in the long run. But the but the thing is, they didn't think about it at the time. And like people are obviously you know like things that that benefit them, right? Like for example, when they poll like should all these Slayer monsters have improved drop rates, right? Like some of them they ended up backtracking. They they ended up ner re nerfing Koras. They ended up re nerfing like Necrails and stuff, right? Th th that's like, a lot of different games though dude people like yeah yeah like, no but but yeah. that's what i'm saying that's why i'm saying that uh sometimes oh sorry like you were cutting off yeah well, oh. yeah what do you say yeah so so like the, I, I don't think that's a polling system flaw and i don't think you use that for that purpose because like i feel like every game has like things where they make a change and then like eventually because the thing is everyone thinks it's good they start like oh yeah you know this makes sense like this monster requires this layer level it should have an increased drop rate let's increase it so then everyone's like yeah it's a great idea and then after a while they're like wait a minute this is busted jagex do something and they're like you know what you're right we're gonna do something about it i don't well, actually they did not nerf it because people complain about it they only nerfed it because they realized that it was a mistake in the long run because you, you could see how how the prices of certain things have basically collapsed overnight People so, definitely complained about Zolra's drop table 100 percent before they. Oh no, no, I'm no, I'm talking about like the Slayer creatures because you know people were more so m unhappy that they decided to get rid of it. But but the thing is, like I said, it's like they should have known that just because over 75 percent of people voted yes to something like that, there should, be, should there should have been a clear indicator that these mobs are heavily farmed all the time, and it's it's obvious that those items would have crashed if they actually implemented you know those kind of things in into you know into the game right because like there are some things that are obviously bad but they decided to pull it anyways and because it gets to 75 percent they they were they were just weren't thinking straight you know and they they just decided to pull that stuff anyways without really thinking about it because yeah. if you look back like some of those were just obviously shouldn't have been pulled in the first yeah, place yeah but looking back sure hindsight's 2020 20, but before things are in the game you can't really know for sure like how it's going to impact the game until it's actually in the game and then one yeah thing, i i guess then, but, you can, like, uh, do research on it you know because you don't you can't really take like a sample size of something that doesn't exist so when it does exist then i, I don't know a anyway th yeah yeah i'm just saying like it, it's probably better that it's it's more of an indicator rather than like 
a confirmation of a yes guaranteed you know it's guaranteed coming to game now you know more so like oh, okay yeah a lot of people want it so i we, I, I agree yeah. that this is flawed i just feel like no matter what they do there's going to be some flaw to it and oh yeah absolutely i'm not saying know, i'm not saying there's no flaws i'm just saying i think that that way it's actually a bit better though overall you know so like, i i got a, i got a question um if let's say theoretically jagex did remove they just removed the poll system they just got rid of it. Do you think if they released a piece of content that everybody was like, you need to get rid of this, or like, this needs to change, do you think with a polling system being removed that they would listen to the community now? Mm. I know back in the day yeah, they wouldn't absolutely. have. Like, it would On just Reddit. be like, nah. But like, do you think that they would actually, you know, go about it themselves to change <laughs> that and listen to community feedback? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. Fricked. Be yeah. fricked, you say? Yeah, I think the game would be freaking. I think like it would be really because what if Jagex decided not to listen? They're just like, nah, you know what? We're gonna keep it. Listening. I know it's it's scary, but the thing is, like, you'd hope that they would learn from like their yeah. past mistakes. You know, that's true. Like, but but nowadays, like, completely like, there's only a couple of developers now that like were there back then. So like, it's been a yeah. while. Like like I I mean I don't know like wars. You know, wars it's, happen like one every eight years. It's like, also everyone. it's also. <laughs> It's also important to know that uh, back then there wasn't really that much social media, you know, like oh, there, no. there was no real like way to properly voice your complaints back then. And Jagex never really cared back then, but but like now that the channel has opened, you can't really close it anymore, you know, because they they have a lot of they have like you know what I mean they can they can get some heavy heavy criticism now, and they can't really like say oh I'm not listening to it anymore, you know, they don't have a choice anymore. They kind of have to listen, so. By the way, Alfie, have you come? Um, I know that you've been playing a lot of other games. You've been playing Rust. I see you playing that quite a lot. You play League of Legends. Um, have you considered, and obviously I know you like to bad mouth old school as well, which is fine. Have you considered playing RuneScape 3? As like well, a lot of people have. Yeah, so so uh, if, if I were in Signature 2, I'd be on RuneScape 3 right now. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going log out of my, on my Max Hardcore. But like, uh, I mean... I don't really have any reason to bad mouth RuneScape 3. It's just not. It's just RuneScape 3 and RuneScape are just different games, which is which is fine. Like like it's not like a thing where like RuneScape 3 is bad and old school is good. Like I don't know RuneScape 3 well enough to ever bad mouth it, and I don't plan on it. But like when people try to say that RuneScape 3 and old school are the same, that that's when it's like a little like. Yeah, no, they're not. Yeah. They're not the same. Like, yeah. They're very similar, yeah. but not the same. <laughs> its abilities, the entire combat system is different, which is like the main thing. Like, but. Nowadays, people people mainly quit RuneScape 3 because of the removal of free trade in the wilderness. So back when RuneScape 3 became RuneScape 3, the wilderness was a huge thing. And now old school, like, it, PKing's dead anyway. So, like, what's the difference really? Like, Yeah. It's a completely different player base in old school for sure. I'm just, I've logged into RuneScape 3 for the first time, like, uh, probably a few weeks ago. And I was... Like, I, I have a lot of prejudice against RuneScape 3 because that was my baby. I played that all the way since back, like, 2003. And that was my childhood, and they just destroyed the game, you know? But, like, I logged in on it, and I was, like, walking around exploring a little bit. And I was like, I was like, dude, it's like they got MTX in this game, sure. But, like, they're still, you can tell that there's still passion for that game. It's like I went up into, like, a pillar, and there was fucking Armadillo. Like, the god is there. I was like, dude, this is, like, the coolest shit ever. I was like, this is, like, the extension of old school that hasn't come into play yet. And uh, I, I don't know. It, it's interesting to look at the two games because on one hand, you got a game which is, you know, heavily, like, monitored and also it, it's the community that decides goes into the game. And on the other hand, they have, like, this dictatorship where it's like, they can do whatever the fuck they want. Like, you have no say as a player. So it's like, it, it's interesting to see, like, where both of those games have got. And I, I don't think there's no wrong or right answer. I just think it's, like, trying to strike that that right balance between the two, you know? I, I, I think most, if not all, old school Ringscape players will say, like, MTX for old school would be a fucking terrible thing. Yeah. Uh, I'd hate to see it personally. But I'm sure there are people that actually would. I don't know. Nah, I don't want MTX, but the uh, R three Iron Man, no MTX, so you're good. <laughs> that's that's why I don't care too much. I have a question for you. So so uh, I guess the same question, but in a different light. Um, so uh, I guess the first half of the question is that Fat Checks is that a series that's coming to a close? And the second question is, uh, what next? Are you considering like doing like something like a RuneScape three <laughs> Iron Man, or are you going to work on your Iron Man? Or because like realistically, I'd say like and no insult 
uh, meant at all, obviously, but like, what? you know, like, like how much what? money like, is like the end and like how much money, like, can you really make? And like, when does the content become to just become like, Oh, you know, doing another 10 chambers. Okay. Another 10 theaters. All right. New video. Yeah. Um, so it is coming to an end, which is like, it's always a scary time, man. Like I'm kind of, oh, yeah. I'm kind of sharing it, dude. Cause I'm like, what do I do next? Yeah. Um, it's coming to an end. I mean, I'm less than like a bill away now, like considerably less than actually finishing. Actually, I think I'm only like 600 mil away. So like, if I get a Tebow, like it's over. Like I'm one drop away from ending the series. Um, and it definitely is like a very anxious time because it's like, I have to figure out what I'm going to do next. Um, in terms of what is next, I have a few series ideas to my head that I'm thinking I'm going to do. Like, the way that I even had success on YouTube in the first place was I tried so many different things. I was like trying to like, you know, I, I did a series years ago that was like doing barrows into a full inventory of barrow items and stuff like that. I just pulled shit out of my ass and I just ran with it. And then after like a year of doing it, I just looked back over my videos and I was like, which ones did well? And I was like, people really like making money from nothing. Let's roll with that. Let's see how it goes. Um, I've been playing my hardcore, like I said. I think when I end the series for streaming, if I don't have anything, like if I haven't come up with anything, I'll probably just do some filler content on my hardcore Iron Man and see how far I can take that. Um, I do have some series ideas in mind that I haven't really told anyone about and I don't want to because everyone's dying for content and I have some genuine ideas and I don't want anyone robbing them. Um, I would never yeah, be- DM me. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see i think um I, I would eventually like to do another big long-term series and i love starting new accounts you know so i don't know what it's gonna be like if raids free comes out <laughs> raids free puts an entire different like uh, an entire different um goal set it's like if raids free comes out with like you know the equivalent to the t or the scythe i could do like a series where it's like trying to make insert name of item in a week you know what i mean and like just trying to grind through it like it, it, it all depends but like i don't have anything solid right now and i am a little bit anxious that it's gonna end but i don't know we'll see like people been tuning in to me playing the hardcore and i'm like damn you guys really like this shit huh like you guys are at like i got a load of new people in my chat watching me play hardcore i don't know any of these people usually yeah, it's like the same cool. people so we'll see we'll see mm-hmm. Nice, man. I think we covered a lot today in this episode. I mean, we got, what, prices left? You guys want to talk about the botting pandemic? Man, I think it's time that you talk about something, man. You've been snoozing, bro. Well, Even there? You've been sleeping this podcast, dude? You guys have been talking about the polling, which, I mean, in my opinion, I'm all about the wilderness. And if we're going to talk about polling, the wilderness is not very good. Right, obviously, it's a huge yeah, failure, yeah. but I don't want to talk about polling, right? You guys already covered the basis, and then we got what raids? I don't really do raids, but yeah, what about prices? So, bro? I'm what just learning about? right now. Oh, what prices, about the prices, man. Tell, tell us about yeah, your yeah, recent yeah, yeah. endeavors with merchant, man. We yeah. want to hear it. <laughs> I mean, I buy at the peak and I sell low. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> it's been oh. bad. Um, great, great case study. It's well during the pandemic, it seemed like most prices have been absolutely falling. And there's been some idea why. Maybe a lot of people have done end game content, so they're selling all their items off. Could be botting, probably definitely botting. But whatever it is, it's happening. And all mm-hmm. items are just falling to the floor right now. Uh huh. Bandos, <clears throat> Elijah, Purple Sweets. Yeah, I'll give you one variable that I in my in my mind, and the one ver- like there's many variables, right? I think one decently contributor is the fact that uh, right now a lot of the players that like do high end PVM, they're 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 not playing, right? And what happens when they're not playing? They usually sell their stuff. It's like a common thing, you know, for normal yeah. accounts to liquidate their banks. And yeah, because they're not buying, right? Then what what do the sellers gotta do? They gotta lower their prices in order to, you know, sell it to more scrubs, right? That that can finally afford it. Because none of the high level players combined that with the fact that you can't take items. Yeah. That's one in my opinion. Oh wait, 
dude, Alfie, give me some insight, man. What what do you think that not being able to stake items is uh done to the economy potentially oh uh, dude freaking items crash bro people freaking get super bored and they freaking sell their items to someone else who also sells their items and they freaking get cash and they all go staking and yeah so, so that's, that, a, that's a good yeah. point do man think, yeah. do you think that plummets the price of those items because they're doing that or i, I mean it, it i mean uh with right with the rise of said i agree that's like a big thing for sure it's that players are getting bored and what do you do when you get bored on runescape you go staking or sell your gear, yeah. <laughs> or yeah, you play League of Legends snake. like a yeah, non <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Damn, dude. What about the, um? we were talking about botting and stuff. See, I don't know enough well, like, about this, trading, but yeah. I don't know if you'd see and, and so forth. Like, I, we were talking about Revenant Caves and how the bots have left the revs now and now they're just, like, doing everything else in the game. But like, are they actually bots or are these just people that are gold farmers? I think a lot of them are are gold farmers. Like for like bossing and stuff, a lot of them I feel like are gold farmers. Because when I did some revs before, a lot of them were just gold farmers. Like you know, they would just literally play like all day and just yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. They just play all day. Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe they could have outside of the rev caves just started botting other areas. I feel like well. shamans though have botters. So. so it's the same. So I mean, I mean, for sure there's lore bots and for sure there are other bots. So so it's the same deal. Like it doesn't matter if someone's like botting or not. If people are gold farmers and they nerf revs, the gold farmers have to go somewhere else. Exactly. Gold, yeah. gold farmers go to Bandos. Gold farmers go to Zami. Gold farmers. Yeah, gold Venny's farmers at Bandos Twitter, all day every day whatever mm -hmm. and so all the items everything drops i'm sure a ton of freaking gold farmers go to freaking like chambers and you yeah know, and, and and then mm -hmm. uh, theater of blood items have been dropping ever since trailblazer because people learn how to do tob and trailblazer when they didn't when they never did it on 07 so they're like oh i can do it on 07 now and so everyone's doing tob and so all those prices are dropping and yeah it's, it's uh, the perfect so storm right now yeah yeah we yeah, got right one now bots lowering prices of items we got the stakers liquidating items we got high level pvmers selling their items and not playing anymore yeah but when is this gonna bounce when are we gonna see a recovery in a, the room scan a big pvm update pretty much that would that was that what it would take then a huge yeah, PVM yeah update. A big PVM update. dude but then people I come would... back and they buy their gear back much i know that jagex would never release this but i'd love to see it and also i like time back into runescape free i think with like the recent success sick nerds had on there sick nerds entire like audience for the most part i assume like it's something very very much towards the old school runescape community right his uh viewer base i would like to know how many people have like just liquidated their old school banks and just transferred it over to runescape free and whether that would be something which could potentially that is so small compared to the market, there's no. You think way. that's small? Yeah. It's... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it well, definitely did... contributes, though. I, I think mean, all of these definitely. matters happening yeah, is too. just what. That... Have you ever seen items drop this much for this long? It, 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 there's a lot of different factors, and Signer yeah. is a very, very small. No. Yeah, I think I think no. Signer is a slight. I mean, but it's, it's not just but... sick nerd, though, to be honest. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not. It's not. I, dude, I get people in my chat all day now that are like hardcore old school RuneScape fans that are like telling me all about their RuneScape free achievements and how they traded over like 100 mil. And I'm just like, Jesus. Like, it, it's maybe it's not as much as like the rest of the market, but I think something else to tie into this. I noticed with the prices of everything, when the whole, this, I can't say the the name of the, the whole thing going around the world right now because of, uh, you know, DMCA on YouTube and we're going to get strikes. But like, really? You know, yeah, yeah. dude, you, we ain't saying what? it, Matt. Don't, don't say it, Alfie. Don't I, do I, it, bro. I won't, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, wild. but it, you're not allowed to say it because it's, it's very controversial and also, I don't mm. know, YouTube. Uh, they're not perfect. But like at the start of this with like the lockdown, uh, prices skyrocketed, and I assume that's because more people had more time to be inside, and it's like, what do you do inside? You play games. So the prices went up, and like here in the UK, I don't know what it's like in America, but like, mm -hmm. things are easing off now. People are going back to work, people have less time to be inside. So yeah. it's like, with that being said, it kind of makes sense that the prices skyrocketed at the start, then they kind of balanced out, and now they're slowly dipping back down. If I had to guess, maybe that's a factor to Definitely. what's going on. Yep. Definitely, man. The lockdowns yeah. are lifting. Didn't Rig, the golden god on Twitch, he just posted that the 
uh, lockdowns were down. He took a little selfie. So I don't know where he lives, yeah. but I'm guessing it's, UK? It, we're, allow, we're allowed to go out to uh, like cafes and pubs now if you're outside. Not allowed inside, but mm-hmm. um, I mean, that's pretty good. But hey, here's a question. like, If we think that gold farmers and bars are such a huge... like. It, They've always they're been. just so <laughs> detrimental to the game and its health. What do you think the solution is? And I, I feel like it's an easy question, right? It's like you yes. ban them. Yeah, um, pretty much. But like, dude, this is something that I've spoken about a lot with my chat that genuinely worries me. I see that there's mods on Twitter that are like, this week we've banned insert 100,000 bot accounts or whatever. And I, I read it and I'm like, wow, that's great that they've done that. And then I think, but like, why are they having to manually do it? Right? Well, that's the thing that comes to mind for me. I'm like, why are they manually banning bots? Like, why isn't there something that's picking up on them? Why why aren't they being traced already? Like, why are they having to manually do it? And like that's something that's worried me. It's like, do we not have any like sufficient bot detection anymore? And like Jagger yeah, just haven't said anything because they don't want to like create panic in the community. Like it's kind of worrying. For, for my maybe, limited maybe I've looked too much into it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, from my limited our, our understanding, it's always an arms race because, you know, people create new ways, like, you know, new new ways to bot, it, which means that the system can't detect it easily at first, right? And it takes some time for them to gather, like, the data, right? It's always an ongoing race. Like, there's no, like, one detection that detects everything because they make new ones and it goes rampant. But I think a lot of it, in terms of not resources, but, like, equipment, I think a lot of it comes from actual gold farmers, like the Vennies and stuff. It's it's hard to ban those guys because you have to catch them real world trading for sure, like with certainty, right? Before you can ban those guys, right? So so yeah, it's uh, it's it's not easy. Like they would they just need to hire more people basically in order to to take care of them faster. Oh, but I guess I it might and, and it might also kind of it's it's like a double edged sword, right? Because the venies that play the game they they contribute to the active player base, right? They contribute to the sense of oh people are playing the game, right? Too. So it might also feel weird for them from a business standpoint to also ban them as fast, maybe. It's a, yeah. That's a conspiracy theory, right? That, you know what I mean? I'm not sure how, how much they care. But like, it's like, number one is it's hard to, to know that these, these gold farmers are, are, like leg- are actual gold farmers because you have to like make sure you, you, know, you prove right, that they are like, you know, when they get caught trading or whatever and stuff, right? Yeah, so it's, it's so not so tricky. easy. Dude, you mm. ever see it when they put it on, like, they put their GP on the table in, like, Barrock, and somebody, <laughs> like, scouts them, and they go over and... L- it's such a... It's 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 a moral conundrum, man. Yeah. It's, like, it, it's mm-hmm. not just as simple as, like, oh, they're breaking the rules, ban them. If I was a J-Mod, and, like, knowing the whole situation in Venezuela, like, I think I would really morally struggle. I think I would. I, I genuinely think I would, because they're just trying to put, like... they're the The Venezuelans that are selling gold aren't driving around in fucking Mustangs and Lamborghinis and living in mansions. Like, they're trying to get a bowl of rice for their family. And it's kind of difficult for me to, like, see that in a bad way, but at the same time, it hurts the game. You know? It's like a real fucking issue, but at the same time, it's like, damn, like, how do you deal with that? Like, it's difficult. Yeah, and and also you have to understand, though, like, like, prices are also relative, too, right? Like, what I mean by that is, if there isn't as much gold coming to the game and everything else is relatively going down, then the then the actual price of these items are actually the same as it has been. Because think about it, right? If you were to do a boss, your earning is not as high as it, as it was before, but so is the items that you were going to buy. They're also not as high as they were before, right? So relatively speaking, it's actually the same value, right? Do you think we even need to be worried about this? Like, well, like, because the thing is, it's like, I think it's, it's fun like, to be worried about it. It's not like a hundred percent objective, you know, because a lot of this is kind of like how you feel about it. More so like you're actually sick, right? You're not actually sick. It's just you're feeling that you might be, you know, the game, you're feeling like the game is currently in an unhealthy state, but that's just our opinion on it. Right. Because, you know, Dude, I got, I got up, very, you know. I know we've been going for a long time. Maybe we yeah. can end on this. Yeah, I got a very controversial question for you boys to try and answer. Alfie, I want to know your input. Do you think the old school RuneScape would survive if the economy just like plummeted with this with Iron Man and everything that's available? What do you guys think would happen if the economy just like dropped off, went bad, real bad? I think the wild would be hilarious. Oh my god, just everyone in <laughs> ancestral. Oh, that'd be so yeah. fun. 
Yeah. But like, <laughs> it wouldn't wires. affect Iron Man. It wouldn't, would it? Like, if you're an Iron Man, it doesn't matter the price of stuff. That's irrelevant. So, yeah, no, I wouldn't. For, so, so I'm biased, obviously, because I'm me and I'm not a normal player in RuneScape or I stream. Mm -hmm. But like, so like, if, if I like ask for donations or ask for an item, this is going to sound cocky, but there's a reason I'm saying this. So I'm going <laughs> to get, get what, you know, I'm going to be like, hey, can I have this? And then someone's going to give it to me. So like the economy crashing for me wouldn't be bad because it wouldn't really matter to me because I play Iron Man to get that feeling of like progression yeah. instead of just getting it, you know? So yeah. like, but for the average player base, the economy going really bad, <clears throat> it would have to be like, there has to be like a reason why. So like, let's say like Jagex can't control the bots and like every world is just filled with bots and all the items just go and plummet to the ground. Um, That'd be really bad for the game because then like what boss is worth farming for, you know, you, you would, you, it would be interesting because you would see like different dynamics of like what to farm. So like it would no longer be the best thing per hour to farm a boss. Now it'd be the best thing per hour to farm like uh, maybe a runes or like maybe it'd be the best to farm this or that or uh, yeah, that, that, that'd be crazy. I, I think I think the economy has to be strong. And yeah. what creates a strong economy is items being really rare. And so like, I mean, if something like that were to happen, Jax would have to fix. It. Otherwise, yeah, the game would collapse. Yeah. So I don't think that the economy is necessarily like bad per se it's more so i think the bigger issue is more so uh getting people to play the game at the moment i think the issue right now is that there uh there just isn't enough updates at the moment to really get people like you know back in the game so like by 2022 they really need to make a strong effort to release some really good updates you know to bring people back because like i don't I, I see, you know, it's okay, I guess, to have a year of downtime, right? Like, yeah, I get it. They got to fix their stuff with blowpipe and all that crap. But, like, and, and obviously there was, like, you know, the the pandemic and shit. So, obviously, yeah, there's going to be some downtime. But, like, I, I hope next year they come back strong with some good updates, like Race 3 and stuff. Because, honestly, if they don't, if they have, like, two years of just nothing, that I think that's actually going to be bad for the game, like, in terms of health. Yeah. Then people are actually going to forget about it for a while, and they might not come back and, you know... At that at that point, like financially, right? Like no membership coming along, like you know, at a good rate, right? It it will be bad for the company because, like, for them, they need to stay alive, right? And it's finances that's gonna yeah. do that. So I mean, it, it's dude. I I think it's a good question because, like, you know, I, I don't know what the percentage of player base or regular mains slash Ironmans, but like either way, like this affects all of us because you know we 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 play the game like this this for me is like my living like you know it's like it's effectively my job as it is many other people so it's like in our best interests to try and like you know hopefully keep the game going for as long as possible i'm just thinking like would the game survive if the economy got so bad that it was literally just playable for iron men and hopefully that doesn't happen but if that were to happen no, i don't be, know if it would or not that would be basically if people found a way to dupe everything you know, nonstop, and they couldn't fix that. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, I think so. We have to just worry more about bringing players back into the game, like by 2022. You know, I think that's kind of like the yep. real practical issue, I guess, right? That they they, they yep. can tackle. And unfortunately, at the end of the day, we can we don't really have too much say in like what you know. We're None doing. really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just hope 2022 good updates. Race three, please. You know. Yep. And uh, maybe pick some PvP stuff, bring some good PvP stuff for the boys. Man, dude, I think something that would be really good to net in like a huge map potential in terms of player base. Now, I don't think I would use it personally, but there was a lot of hype around like HD clients. Um, not for me, but like I don't have a problem if someone else wants to use a HD client. If that was something, like, dude, like even the, like the content creator Asman Gold, who's like a huge fucking streamer. It's like he he's openly said like the trouble with 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 RuneScape for him is the graphics, which is a you know it's a real yeah. normie game. It's like that's a casual gamer's opinion on something. If oh, you yeah. think graphics means good game, I'm afraid you're just too far gone. There's no help in you. That's but a shame. yeah, yeah. There's but like a lot still, like it's that. like There's if that was an option for some people, I think that it, it probably would bring in a lot of people that have never played the game because of the graphics. Yeah, a lot know. of my friends that play games, like literally, their number one excuse for like not playing RuneScape is like, "Oh yeah, but the graphics suck." You know, <laughs> that's literally like yeah. their excuse. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, no, that's just, I mean, that's an just HD a casual option man. is fine. You know, uh, HD option definitely would bring in some some new players, right? For sure, like that's you know, 
I mean, it so wouldn't it's hurt, hurt, right? It's, it's like right now, I think, right? Rune Light. I think Rune Light is working on that right now. So really, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, okay. I've, seen, I've seen some pictures uh, of it. I, I don't have. Yeah. A lot of people get steered away from RuneScape because people want instant gratification, and it takes a long time to get gratification on this game. So. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. For sure. There's a lot of... And it's also just not a very competitive game. I feel like most games at the moment that are doing insane, right, like that are top are always very competitive, high ELO games anyways, right? So... Yeah. So, and it's, yeah. it's actually a miracle that this game has survived for so long. Honestly, like the yeah. more you think about it, it's yeah. like how the f- how the hell is this game even still a thing, dude? Why yeah, are people like, still playing this game? Like, I have today's, no idea. Yeah, today's gaming is all like comp, you know, like competitive games and shit. But like, we still somehow hold some pretty solid ground, you know, as a you know MMO. So I mean, just YouTube views alone is pretty damn solid. What we've been pulling lately in RuneScape. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean it always has been really, hasn't it? It's always been yeah. like kinda kinda crazy. I think I think what it is is I think where it is such a hard game. Like I think the reason the views are so high is because it's one of those games which is easy to watch. <laughs> hard to play it's like you know it's impressive to watch somebody make a load of progress and you don't have to go through it yourself yeah and to watch it's kind of inspirational because it's like damn you're like climbing fucking everest it's like that's a hard thing to do you know what i mean so maybe that's why the views are so high i'm not sure people like painful content yeah yeah like you've seen alfie like you know blaze through his like hardcore accounts bro people are like damn i'm living through him you know basically dude, i <laughs> man, i want to i want another 75 hour 75 hour stream alfie man i'll uh dude i'll drop my raid shadow legend sponsor money on you bro do it god go no, join him man double final hour 75 oh god nah i don't want to be that guy you know i want to i want to keep you healthy bro so you just stream <laughs> yeah don't don't, don't <laughs> actually do that man don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it bro. don't do it yeah, right anyways boys yeah. i think we should wrap the podcast yeah, up we how long have we been going two hours and five two minutes oh that's pretty good two hours yo i think yeah. that's that's clean and we cover so many things you know like pvp group iron man new rate suggestion prices uh you know yeah. biography bro. right yeah right biography. yo alfie can can you set a like goal for our uh our YouTube community to get on this video. What'd you reckon, man? Yeah. So, uh, if you guys have liked this video, make sure you guys give a thumbs up. And uh, today we're going to try to reach 300, three, 3,000, 333 <laughs> likes. Yo, 300. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We need that. Yeah. It can be hit. Definitely. Oh, yeah. You want to plug your stuff? Talk about your future plans, you know, next this year or something? Nah. No. <laughs> Right, we'll, we'll link we'll link humble, Alfie's humble. stuff down below. Make sure I'm sure yeah. half of you guys already know who he is. But Alfie, yeah. dude, thank you very much for coming on, man. It's yeah. been a pleasure, and it's been uh, it's been great to get your insight on the game and everything, man. It's been good. Yeah, appreciate the honesty.